Yeah, thanks for letting me know. One second, let me have a look. Uh, what did I want to change? That's what I want. Something that looks good. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much midnight, yeah, yeah. Damn, man, this place looks beautiful. Look at this. Okay.
I'm going to mostly stay quiet because I want to have the full experience. So just letting you all know. Alright, alright, I will read the codex entries. Let me just finish this phase. Okay, let's read the codex entry. Do you want me to physically read it, or do you guys just want to, like, do you guys want me to stay quiet? Alright, Screecher Zombie. Killing the Screecher will cause it to temporarily buff all other demons in the arena. Demons buffed by the Screecher's scream are stronger, faster, and harder to kill. Right? The Screechers were once human worshippers of the Raltha Vatum, an ancient hell cult. But instead of being rewarded for their devotion, they were tortured in the Citadel of Anguish for millennia. They became malformed by their frustrations of the lifelong deceit. Their blood-curdling screams of anger had fermented into something far more potent. An intoxicating power desired, desired by all demon kind. Thing. What else do we have? There's a fragile arena who temporarily buffs all demons when killed. Okay. Check this out. The World Spear is a cosmic crystal of unknown origin that pierced the planet of Argentinur from pole to pole ages ago. The mysterious shard is surrounded by steps that are home to the scattered tribes of Argenti warriors who seceded during the Sentinel Civil War. The history of the Sentinel Part 7, no, uh, 12. Abandoned settlements remain within the wilderness, a vestige of the old villages that were culled by the corrupted armies of the north during the conflict. The path to the world, world spear can be found through the old roads near these settlements. Through no one, though no one has made the journey in centuries, it was written that one day a mighty warrior would return to seek out the spear and power it power, and the power it holds. His passage proclaimed to all by the torch of kings. Right? Ah, oh, man. Okay. Let's read the Armored Baron. Shoot the mace while it flashes green to detonate and destroy the armor. The plasma rifle can quickly destroy the armor. The microwave mod is most effective. Microwave mod? Huh. Okay. 
Use a sentinel hammer slam when its armor is destroyed to daze it and extend it, its vulnerability window. Armored barons are grafted with the technology of Emora. Just outside the city gates, they patrol with Morningstar gauntlets cursed by the Dark Lord himself. One devastating strike obliterates both body and soul. Even the makers fear these creations of demon and machine, for their carnage is both relentless and unquenchable. Let's read here. Can only be killed after his armor is destroyed. Use a plasma rifle to slowly break and destroy his armor over time or shoot his weak point. Let's have a look at this animation. Interesting. Very interesting. gonna have a quick look around to see if there's any uh, anything else I need to worry about hey what's up Callow how's it going man uh, I don't think so Callow I've literally just started like well 10 minutes ago or even less than that. Okay, so they're gonna keep respawning. Yeah, it is a fight, but I'm not sure if there's a heavy demon somewhere or what. Okay, arena was a lot longer than I was hoping for, but okay. I looked at Alex A in the stream that he did and he just laughed in chat and the stream got like banned or something. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Yes, it is out, yes. You just have to download it. Well, if you have the, the yearly pass or whatever, then yeah. Are you gonna stream the whole game? Yeah, that's pretty much the plan. That's what I'm hoping to do, yes.
Hold up, your comment is hidden. Yep. I'm still a bit rusty, guys, so, you know, I may miss my a few shots here and there, but just letting you know. This, this is ultra violence difficulty because I actually want to have fun and not try to try hard my first time. Okay. Yeah, this is just beautiful. Like, absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Well, okay. How's your movement so fast? I'm just experienced with the game, man. I'm more focused on like the story and stuff, as I'm pretty sure most people are. Uh, I'm not sure about the secrets, I don't think people are interested in secrets at the moment. It depends though, depends on how many people are interested. Uh, are you kidding me? Oh, a purple puddle. At the moment, people are just speedrunning for the ending. I only care about the Codex entries and the Slayer Gates. Uh... Not that many that... There's not that many secrets. Uh, at least in the first level, anyway. Oh yeah, I have the BFG.
Uh, you're welcome, uh, Daniel. You're welcome, dude. Should I use the power-ups or should I not use them? What do you guys, what do you guys think? I'll use it on this one imp. I'm detecting an energy signature from Commander Valen. Oh my god, there it is. Also, that is the uh, statue of an elemental wraith. Like they're a very big deal in Argenta society. Just a bit of a lore tidbit for you guys. Uh, before I do, let me check out any secrets. Uh, doesn't look like it. I may have to travel back for the, for the secrets. All right, man. I am ready for my hammer. Give it to me. My son's curse has been lifted. And I atone for my sins. Let's read the codex entry first. Sentinel hammer meter. Use a sentinel hammer to daze demons and refill your ammo. Hammer demons in groups to maximize resource drops. Okay, so it's that day's effect over the demons. To fill the meter, destroy weak points and glory kill demons. Well, that's usually my playstyle, so that's freaking perfect. Combat. Press V to daze nearby enemies and refill your ammo with the uh, sentinel hammer. In addition to giving ammo, the sentinel hammer can also boost the effects of your equipment. Combo the Sentinel Hammer with Ice Bomb to boost health drops. Combo the Sentinel Hammer with Flame Belts to boost armor drops. Yeah, I would love Soul Q, but come on, man. Like, my name is Anvil. The hammer is literally like a part of me. And I want... Bring me Davos! Oh, shouldn't have done that, but okay. Bang! Where's the revenant going? Bang! Oh my god, this is so satisfying, guys. Seriously, man. Oh shit. Just letting you know, on this channel, this uh, hammer ability is going to be called Anvil Smash, alright? That's 
It's pretty much set in stone. Oof, that was a rush. Uh, he just goes to him. Anvil Smash is just a Thor hammer. No, Anvil Smash is like Hulk Smash with a, with a hammer. The Anvil of Pain? Yes, I like that. Is it Argent or Wraith Energy? Good question. This hammer is Argent Energy. What difficulty are you playing on, Anvil? I'm playing on Ultra Violence. I want to have fun. Anvils just want to have fun. Where blood, blood punch drops in the first DLC because that spirit from earlier just dropped one and I've noticed until then. Yes, it is from the uh, spirits. Are you prepare, preparing for the suffering and pain that awaits Ultra Nightmare? Yes. With this hammer, well, sorry, with my hammer, with the anvil hammer, I will be... Uh, I'm going for Ultra Nightmare. I just have to. Anvil energy, I love that. Doogie. If if I had like a if I had like a a uh, what do you call it? What's the word I'm thinking of? If I had a gift or something, I'd give it to you for uh, that amazing statement. Argent red, wraith blue. Uh, correct. Uh, well, we don't actually know what wraith energy. The color of Wraith energy is, but that is Sentinel energy. So blue is Sentinel energy. Red is Argent energy. Or uh, red is a uh, a variation of Argent energy. An Argent sledgehammer on steroids. Yep. I'm just looking for any other ammo or anything, but uh, not nah, seems like uh, we're good to go. This looks to be like a training room within uh, Argenta society. Because uh, he's got a lot of co coffins? No, they're not coffins, just uh, wraiths. Wraith is yellow? Uh, I... Possibly? Possibly. We don't actually know what the actual color of wraith energy is. This is beautiful, dude. This place is just beautiful. I see a hammer pick up, which means it's gonna be another fight. Oh, Stone Imp. Stone Imp. Wait, hold on. A sacred weapon wielded by Commander Valen of the Sentinel Armies, powered by the massive infusion of Wraith energy, allowing a combatant to stun and extract resources from demonic foes. What? Powered by a massive infusion of Wraith energy. What the hell? I'm gonna have to ask, uh, I'm gonna have to ask Hugo about this. Uh, yeah, that's strange. That doesn't seem... Uh, I guess that kind of makes sense. That's, I don't know, it's just, it's weird. It doesn't really make any sense. That means the Crucible is made of Wraith energy. And so that means... Any weapon that has like a red interior or so or whatever and with demonic runes is wraith energy. That means the crucible is the wraith energy. 
that means the weapon that Davos has is also Wraith energy. But how the hell did Davos get Wraith energy? What? Confusing. I'll think about that later. I'll probably put that in a different video. Yeah, the Marauder Axe is also Wraith energy. That's weird. Uh, I don't get it. It's resistant to most weapons. It's vulnerable to combat, shotgun, full auto mod, and sentinel hammer. Kill it with the full auto to gain bonus shotgun ammo. Alright. And yeah, the new UI is released. You can see it. Crucible shot out Wraith Fire according to the code. Yeah, that's right. But then I thought that was, um, I thought that was like some sort of oversight. But yeah, okay. That's cool. That's, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of, uh, what do you call it? Um, inconsistencies, man. There's a lot of inconsistencies. But hey, if they say it's Wraith Energy, who am I to complain? Oh, you can chainsaw them. You can just straight up chainsaw them. They can survive like two or three, oh, three or four point blank super shotgun hits. That is insane. I kind of want to use the hammer again. I want to like go really high up and use it again. And then I'll pick up the, uh, the pickup there. Right, let's see how this looks. Oh, yes. That was beautiful. Yeah, for sure, man. I'll have... Uh... Energy in the well, 2016, coming out of the race, was red too. See, that's a problem. See, th that's where the, I have an issue. Because that energy that's released from the well was said to be Argent energy, not Wraith energy. See, that's where I have a problem. That's where there's a lot of inconsistencies. Oh, I wasn't ready. So there is a uh, hidden secret here. Unplanned inconsistency. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, at least we know that the Wraith energy... Like, at least we know what it looks like now. And we know how... We know how important Wraiths were to the... To the uh, the uh, Argenta society. We know now. We know that. Now we can sort of, you know, uh, I guess, be at peace or sort of, you know, you, you get what I mean, right? This is the torch of kings. Lighting it signifies to all that a warrior seeks passage to the world spear.
The corrupted priests forbid the use of this beacon. If there are any remaining free tribes left in Argentinor, all will see this light and know what your mission is here. We are still a day's walk away from the World Spear. The dragon. Since you're not the only one who wants this mission accomplished. If you defeat the Dark Lord, any demon outside of Hell would be destroyed. I'm just gonna pause it here. So, uh, let me just read the chat. Hold on. How are these Sentinels not dead? Um, because these uh, Sentinel uh, tribes, these remote tribes. They did not, they were not involved in the Argenta Civil War. They stayed out of it. Uh, that's the lore uh, behind it. Uh, hey Ray, how's it going? Dragon, yes. What skin is that? That is the Ember Slayer skin. Uh, so badass. Uh, the dragon had the mark of the Slayer on his forehead, which is pretty cool. Um, also, what are we going to name this dragon on this channel? Anvil with wings, I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. No, you don't. Hold on, let me read the chat. Uh, hold on, someone's message is hidden. So that, there we go. All right. Uh, big boy is the good name for him. Nah, big old dragon. No, George. <laughs> I like that, Kalo. Animals heat. Yeah. Name him Fortnite. No thanks. Uh, big fucking dragon. Nah, it's too, too, uh, too boring. John Romero. No. How long is this deal? How long is this into the DLC? Uh, I'd say about half an hour into the DLC. Uh. 
Anvil Forger? Eh, not too bad. How about Daisy? Nah, already name's already taken. Uh, the Anvil's Hammer. Well, yeah, the hammer, like, that's the name of the hammer. It's, it's Anvil, Anvil's Hammer. And the uh, Smash is called Anvil Smash. So that's the, uh, the official name given by its software. That's the official name of the hammer, okay? Uh, beefed up Daisy, nah. Anvil with wings, I like that. Doombringer? Uh, it's a bit too Skyrim for me, I think. I don't know, come up with like a name that has the word Anvil in it. And then I'll give you like, I don't know, a gold star or something. Whoever comes up with a good name for the dragon will get a gold star. Somehow. Air anvil? Just anvil? <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, anything with Fortnite is just immediately like unaccepted. Like instant disqualification. Anvil with a yes, ye, ye, yes, yes ha <laughs> haircut. Anvil, anvil. <laughs> Some of you guys are pretty good. Anvil axe? Uh, is, that, is that a... Anvil axe, is that a name play on Parthen axe? If it is, then I really like you, Raven, if that's the case. Anvil. <laughs> uh, George Georgeville is the only one I can come up with. Hey, what's up, Miles? Anvil Serpent. I hate autocorrect. Uh. Uh, Raven. When you said Anvil axe, is that a name play on Parthen axe from Skyrim? Oh man, my precision bolt just sometimes doesn't want to work. And that pisses me off. Advil Anvil? <laughs> Anvil Jr.? Uh, White Hot Anvil? Uh, Anvil is Ubisoft game engine. I don't give a shit, it's my name. I don't care if, the, if how, however many people have a, a game engine for it. Anvil of Doom? Yeah, not too bad. Mr. Anvil? Yeah. Anvil Breaker, I like that. That's the name of the hammer. So like, Anvil Breaker is the name of the hammer. Um, Anvil Smash is the ability. Maybe, Raven. Well, well, it's either a yes or a no. If it's a yes, you get a gold star. If it's a no, you don't get a gold star. A Veil Anvil? Uh... Wait, where am I supposed to go? Then yes. Okay, you get a gold star, Raven. Doom Anvil. <laughs> Ooh, something special is gonna happen here. You know what this means, guys. Never mind. I'm not gonna waste a hammer here. Oh my god, that's a lot of them. Hold up. I'm just gonna let them come closer. Uh, Doom Anvil? No. Top Anvil? Eh. Anvil the Slayer's Steed. I like that. Anvil's Wings, I like that. Uh, the Fallen Anvil, I like that too. Minecraft Anvil, no. There's no Minecraft or Fortnite or any of that childish stuff here. It's This is for adults, for grown-ups. Banvil. <laughs> uh, 
Anvil Crusher. I, what is that the name of the dragon or is that the name of the hammer? Anvil Crusher. What do you like? What what's that uh referencing? Wait, is that a BFG shot? Okay. Oh, I see where it is. Man, YouTube just keeps hiding like uh, certain comments. Go to Horny Jail Anvil. Why would I? I am the Horny Jail. Uh. Oh my god. Freaking YouTube just keeps blocking comments. Uh, Bangville name. <laughs> anvil, Lucifer's Poison. Uh, big fucking Anvil. I like that. Um, don't touch the spaghetti. I like that. Big fucking Anvil. BFA. I hope we get invasion mode. We will. Anvil Killer. Mm. The dragon is Anvil Crusher. I like that. What are the codex pages called? I don't know. Anvil Reaper, Reaper of the Skies. Some of you people are coming up with some really good names, man. Like seriously, some of you people, like spot on, man. Wait. Um. All right, I'm just gonna read this. I. Um. Okay, I'm going to read these. The World Spear sparked life across the dormant planet of Arjuninur millions of years ago, arriving mysteriously from the depths of space and crashing into the planet with enough force to pierce it from pole to pole. Soon after impact, the angelic creatures who would come to be known as wraiths emerged, beings of immense power that spread across the world as their magic bled into the land and seeded life throughout. I called it, I told you that wraith energy is magical in nature, so... Just letting y'all know. It remains a mystery if the spear freed the wraiths from within the planet or if they arrived on the spear itself. Okay, so they're not going to answer that question. Okay. The power of the wraiths gave life to the people of Arjadinur, who came to worship them along with the world spear, considering it a holy relic. Power continues to flow from the spear, infusing the nearby lands with magic and mutating wildlife into powerful beasts. A, li a live wraith has not been seen in centuries, but rumors persist that some yet remain inside the world spear itself? No freaking way! A cavernous crater surrounds the enormous spire, preventing access inside to unworthy travelers. Holy shit, man. Imagine if the wraiths are still alive. God damn. That would be huge. Imps that lost their lives on the battlefield are cast into the volcanic pits of the Burning Abyss. Bathed in argent, befouled, basalt, and slag, they emerge reborn with flesh of stone. The new hide of the stone imp is impenetrable to most known weapons. Only rapid, multi-vibrations or the crushing force of a sentinel hammer can damage their rock-like exterior. In addition to their retained agility, stone imps can channel the pits of their rebirth and se self-immolate in hellfire. Very nice. I already know all that. How does a hammer work? I see that there are pickups like the crucible had. Uh, you'll find out once you see it. An Willy? No. Anvil Chan? No. Anvil Slayer? That's the name of the of the skin. That's the name of the skin. So that doesn't count. Uh, Danville. Mm, the anvil who strikes you down from the heavens. Uh, that's, that's not really a name. Manville. Uh, anvil lives in Anvili. <laughs> Arjun Anvil. Purple headed yogurt slinger. Man Anvil. Uh, anvil. Mm. Come on, guys. You can do better than that. Let so the name, wait, what was the name of the hammer? And what was the name of the dragon? What did we come up with? 
Come on, guys. This is like legit. This is very serious stuff. Ooh. Um, that's a, uh... Alright, let's just do it. Who cares? I'm just gonna read this first. Escalation encounters are encounters with two waves of increasing difficulty. Only the second wave is optional. Beating the first wave gives a Sentinel Hammer upgrade. Beating the second wave gives a cosmetic. Interesting. Uh, I came up with Anvilax. Okay, cool. I think I like that name. Uh, Anvilax for the dragon. What was the name of the hammer? The, the Anvil Breaker. That's the one. I like that one. Whoever said that. Whoever said Anvil Breaker, speak up now. If you want your uh, gold star. And Raven gets the gold star for uh, uh, Anvilax. Man, if I had like a moderator, man, I would like get them to moderate the chat. Like, cause some, when someone, some people use the F word, like that comment gets hidden for some reason. I don't know why. I'm sticking with BFA, big fucking anvil. I like that as well. Anvil crusher. I like that too, actually. Damn, man, you guys are too good with names. I just want a glory kill so I can use the hammer. Bang! Well, that's not what I wanted to do, but okay. No! Ah, oh, god damn it. Alright, the hammer's back. You know what time it is, right? What time is it? Since the hammer is back, I want you to say it. I'm not gonna use it until you guys say it. No, it's not hammer time. It's anvil time. That's right, baby. Man, you guys are good, man. You guys are like good, very good viewers.
Demons hit by the Sentinel Hammer Slam will now drop more ammo. No. It's every every word is going to be replaced with Anvil. So World Spear Slayer. I like that. All right, let's go for round two, boys. Let's go for round two. Interacting with a second gore nest triggers an even more difficult encounter that is for high skilled slayers only. It is optional, but beating it rewards awards a cosmetic. If you fail, you can try again. Right, I'm going to try my best to do like a Mortal Kombat impression, all right? Round two. Fight. That was bad, but I don't care. No! Bring me Davos! That's right. I'm just gonna clump them up up here. Come on, come on. Bang, boys. Oh, arch file. Get out of here. Another arc file. Where is he? There's a buck totem as well. Interesting. Okay, I see him. No, that's not what I wanted to do. God damn it. Man, I can't believe that blood punch is fixed. Oh yeah, baby. 
I am worthy. Uh, I like that voice that you did. Thank you very much, Spectre. It's it's really late here. Otherwise, I would like do a much better job with like the Mortal Kombat voice. The hammer also gives you ammo. Yes, yes, it does. What's the third bar on top of the shield? That is your uh, hazard uh, buff. I uh, hope there are possessed archfiles and possessed bloodmakers in this DLC. Eh. Envilosaur, Envilosaurus? No. This is Reclaimed Earth? No, this is uh, World Spear. Watch your profanity. Uh, mm, no. Anvil Hammer is victory again. That is right. I wish Doomguy's voice was like that. I am more than happy to voice Doomguy, man. The hammer is what the crucible should have been. Agreed. Petition for Anvil to do his combat voice for the rest of the stream and make his voice sore afterwards. Oh my god, dude. That is exactly what's gonna happen. Lucifer's Bane needs a clean. Oh yes, it does. I'm Vengeance, I'm the Knight, I'm Anvil. Yes. Good Batman quote. Thank you very much, J. J. James Jameson. Anvil, did you see the Dark Lord? Yes. Of course I've seen the Dark Lord. It's me. The Crucible was way better than the Hammer. Uh, agree to disagree. Oh, come on. The Hammer is like the Soul Cube from Doom 3. Yeah, you got that right. and origins uh, i agree uh, vector i agree with that they're both good the crucible looks cooler but its place in the gameplay felt kind of bland well in this channel and in this community we only like hammers and anvils we don't like swords because they're boring blunt force trauma that's the the part of this channel Again, J. Jama Jameson, your comment is hidden again for some reason. I wish we could get the Demonic Crucible in the end with the final fight against Dark Lord. Is this still the first level? Yes, it is, uh, Vivo. I hope you say this is for Daisy, you literally goddamned imbecile when you fight the Dark Lord. Hammer equals axe and sword. Spectre 09? That's like a 100% respect. You know how you get, like, plus 100% respect for you. You get a gold star. Sorry, you get a silver star. Gold is- gold is not a- Gold is not a good color in this channel. Silver is, or platinum. Oh, yes. Alright. Who's next? Oh no! I like the Anvil Breaker now that you don't have to chainsaw a demon every two seconds. 
I fully agree with you, Nima. I fully agree with you. The hammer is just... Hugo was right when he said that the hammer is going to become such a part of the combat loop that you won't be able to play without it. 100% he was right. I love it. Plus, because it's a hammer, because, you know, like, for me, that's, like, extra bonus, you know? I don't like gold either. I like you, Spectre. I like you a lot. For me, I would watch you more than playing. <laughs> Thank you, Ray. Have you gotten Golden Doom Slayer yet? Not the one from the base campaign, but I have got it from the DLC 1. Which is technically harder than the base campaign, so yes. The Bloodmaker's attack window has been increased, it seems. Yeah, they look like... Yeah, I agree. I felt like the Crucible made it too easy to kill tyrants and parents. Yeah, yeah. We'll be able to use the hammer base game in AG Part 2. I don't know. get busy and move I'll move whenever I fucking want uh, what's cringe how is the hammer recharged through glory killing and well I'll tell you later Interesting guys, very, very interesting. This is also quite a long level, to be honest with you. Uh, there's no more chainsaw, the chainsaw is still here. The hammer just, you know, makes it better. How is the new DLC out of 5 stars? Honestly, so far it's a 5 out of 5 for me. I'm, I wanted to... Try a Marauder with different combos. Yeah, same as me. Uh, those combos, man, beautiful. Thank you very much, James. The chainsaw still. Uh, YouTube compression. Yeah, sorry, man. There's not much else I can do with uh, that. This is unlike anything we've ever encountered. Not even Erdak gave off readings like this. What are those men? Holy shit. Are those wraiths inside the structure? Are you kidding me right now? Holy crap.
Yeah, guys, look at that. Are those wraiths inside the structures? What the hell? Damn, man. Oh no. Wait, they keep recharging. That means I can just max out on ammo. Hey Hugo, I found a bug. <laughs> Okay. Are you playing the entire game in one stream? Yeah, that's... I'll try to, yes. I will try, yes. Oh no, shit. Okay, so I gotta shoot it. Oh. Uh, let me just read the chat. Um, my only negative is that the new enemies are just recolors, except for the Armored Baron. Yeah, I sort of agree with you, uh, Ali. Those are 2D compressed textures. Yeah, very funny, Kella. Calling it now, the Wraiths are going to storm the huge battle between the Sentinels and Hell like the spirits in the Lord of the Rings. That'd be cool. Uh, I bought the Deluxe Edition for Doom Eternal and I can't wait to play it. The reason I'm not playing right now is because I like watching your gameplay and listening to your commentary. Wow, dude. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, J. James. J. Jonah Jameson is what I'm going to call you. Uh, those areas look beautiful. Yes, it's, it's, it's anvil time. It's not hammer time, it's anvil time. Okay, so this is the way I'm supposed to go. How many can you add the HUD and Crosshair? What? I don't know what that means. Okay, so this gets rid of the, um, the thing. I haven't the energy to play it myself. It's very late right now. Yeah, that's fair enough, man. Not gonna lie, you made me... One of the older videos, want to play Doom Eternal again and try to beat it on Nightmare. Keep up the good work. Wow, thank you very much, uh, Declan. I'm not really that good, but I'm glad that you uh, got the motivation to finish it. Oh man. Yeah, you're right, uh, Raven. This looks very much like some sort of weird beehive or some shit. I like it. It's cool. Oh. Okay, cool. I got it now. Uh, are you kidding me? Sorry. Come on, come on. I'd like some of those crystals to decorate my home. <laughs> yeah. Wow, man. Please, please hold Unmaker for a second. Okay, there you go. This isn't a crystal at all. It's a ship. What in the hell did he just say? The crystal was a ship. Who sent this ship? Use Unmaker in battle? Uh, yeah, maybe.
There's meant to be four codex entries. Am I missing? Yeah, that's pretty awesome, isn't it? A ship. Yeah, I'm not going to waste uh, pres uh, BFG shots. Not yet, anyway. Uh... Oh, so that means I've completed that I'm only missing one uh, codex entry, which is that one. The wraiths are aliens? Yeah, so th this pretty much confirmed it that the wraiths were inside the crystal. They didn't just pop out of a, from the core of the earth, they were inside the, the crystal. But who made the wraiths? Where are they from? That's the question. Okay. Let's read. Oh my god, dude. The wraiths. Wraiths are inside. Look. In every single pod. And they've got sentinel or wraith energy coming out of them. What the hell? What's the current difficulty setting? No, it's ultra violence. I just, I just want to have fun. I don't want to try hard just yet. Right, let's read this. So that's the image. To the entrance to the world spear. Is it the Wraith from Doom 2016? Yes. These are the same ones. The father must have sent this ship. Yeah, it looks like it. I think you're right, yeah. In times of desperate need, sentinel shamans would approach the world spear and bear their souls to be judged. The gatekeepers, silent guardian spirits, have stood watch over the entrance to the spear since it first arrived. Those shamans deemed unworthy are swiftly cut down with divine strength. Those judged as worthy would return to their tribes bearing a shard of the spear itself, a piece of the ancient spire brimming with power. These crystals can be used to power advanced technology, providing a limitless energy source. It is said that the father himself used these shards to power the gate of Devam. Wow. So I'm kind of glad that a lot of my theories were actually proven correct. So first of all, that the uh, the sentinel crystals are from the, the, the world spear, which is one of the theories that I've said. And I'm glad that I was right about it. And I also said that the Sentinel energy is used to power advanced technology. So, wow, I'm kind of surprised. Alright, cinematic time. I have the location. The gate of Tapu locked in. These are just seraphs. Interesting. Alright, let's do this. Nice. Oh, yes. Hell's invasion of Earth has failed. And the Ark has led human resistance in the fight to reclaim the planet. The Slayer must locate the Gate of Devum, an ancient artifact of the Father's design within the ruins of an overgrown city. Once activated, the path to Emora will be opened. location this is the only way into the most ancient part of hell the dark lord will be there waiting for you wow man freaking amazing look at the level design just look at the level design beautiful incredible oh wow you can you can go to ground floor this is like an open world <laughs> Doom game, man. This is awesome. One hour for this first level? Yeah, pretty much. 
I'm getting Crisis 3 vibes. Yeah, I'm getting the same thing. Let's read the codex. Reclaimed Earth. Let's have a look at the image. Cool. Already seen this before. Hell's recent invasion of Earth was stopped by the Slayer. The blood ritual of conquer conquest undone by the death of the Hell Priests and the defeat of the Icon of Sin. Cities remain largely empty, with survivors of the war having moved to safe zones and underground bunkers. Emboldened by the Slayer's triumph over the forces of evil, the battle to reclaim Earth is nearly complete, as soldiers and citizens serve equally to take back their homes. The Ark has led resistance efforts in coordinated assaults to purge the remaining demons from Earth, striking back with relentless force after Hell's failed invasion. Nice. Alright, well, let's do this. Oh. I'm going to get hit by something, but I'm going to read the Codex entry. If you are hit by the Prowler, you will become cursed. You will take damage over time and be unable to dash or target the cursed Prowler with lock-on weapons. Wow. When cursed, blood punch the cursed prowler to kill it and remove the effect. Wow. That's kind of cool. Right, let's give this a shot. Okay, so you can uh, use the chain gun shield to... Uh, be immune to his attacks. Come on, hit me. Hit me! Oh no you don't. Oh no you don't. Have you encountered the Chain Gunner yet? No, not yet. Right, let's read the uh, two codex entries that I just got. First Prowler. Once cursed... Once cursed, blood punching the cursed Prowler is the only way to kill it and remove the curse. Damn, dude. Blood punching is the only way, that's crazy. This demon's curse deals constant damage over time and disables your dash. Yeah, the first part I pretty much theorized in my video. So I'm kind of glad that um, that I was right. You cannot target the Cursed Prowler with lock-on weapons while cursed. Okay? But based on what I've seen, you can be immune to his attack while you have the uh, shield up. So it's just a recolored Prowler. And it has the image of the uh, Blood Punch and the Curse image. Which looks really cool, by the way. A binding curse of necrotic poison drips from the claws of the cursed prowler like venom. Known in hell to be one of the most treacherous forms of blood magic. Only few have the teachings to conjure such sorcery. Yet, prowlers from the deepest and darkest hell pits have evolved to naturally produce such power from their fingertips. One swipe hurdles the blood of their victim and drains them of their essence with each heartbeat. The only way to cease the curse is to cease the caster. Does a shotgun grapple count as a lock on weapon? That is a very, very good point, Michael. I'm going to test that out. Uh, let's look at the other uh, thing. The savior of mankind, apparently. Cool. That's the mark of the Slayer as well. All right, the Crucible Sword. Okay. I'm gonna try to decipher this Maker language that you see on the um, on the edges of the thing. I'll do that in a separate video, and I'll and I'll uh, post a video. The people of Earth have come to view the Doom Slayer as a savior, a hero who fought to free their world from the clutches of Hell itself. 
the legend of the Slayer has been spread amongst survivors of the war, broadcast on emergency radio frequencies and used as a symbol of resistance against the demons. Prophets pro proclaim to all that the Slayer has brought his war to hell itself. The people of Earth offer their prayers for his victory as they spread his sigil and raise his banner, inspired to fight back by his deeds. Um, I hope there aren't any haters on this stream. I always thought the Doom community was cool. Yeah, they're pretty cool. So far, it's pretty good. Except for like one or two people before, but really good so far. Have the chain gunners appeared yet? No, not yet. I've literally just started this level. Uh, do you think there is a person that finished the DLC? I have no idea, man. On the other live streams, tryhards are going after their gameplay. Oh. Well, in that case, I need to be different. and I need to focus on the story because that is what I like. How far are you into it? I pretty much just started uh, this level, man. Reclaimed Earth. This is like the most obvious secret I've ever seen. Uh, it look on. It's too young to die. Speedrun. Someone probably has. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised, man. Okay. There were levels before. There was only one level, the first level, which was uh, World Spear. If you want, you can go back to the stream and like watch it if you want. Caution, Doom Slayer sighting confirmed. Please save and exit your workspaces. You're damn right. The Anvil Slayer is here. Damn, the music is good. Wow. Now that's what I'm talking about. 
Uh, let me just read the chat. Uh, AF Guide HD is close to the Dark Lord. Well, cool. Um, the secret can be missed. Do you think this level is a... Uh... Okay. I have a bad feeling about the PA message. Yep. Which Doom do you like better? Doom 2016 or Doom Eternal? Or do you both... Uh, I like Doom 2016 more as a full experience. But I do like Doom Eternal like... Doom Eternal is like a very close second. They gave demons a warning, that's right. Do you think this level is an idea from The Last of Us? I haven't played The Last of Us. What did he name the dragon? It's uh, Anvilax, which is a wordplay on Parthenax from Skyrim. Chainsaw in the eye, PB rockets, yep. This level design is awesome. It makes demons feel like they're stragglers or something that were left behind on Earth. I agree with you, Ali. I 100% agree with you. Anvil time, baby. Hell yes. Uh, has anyone thought about how demons practically live in fire yet they are damaged by it? Yeah, yeah. Hold up. I had to uh, show- Some comments just keep getting hidden for some reason, so I have to like, fix that up. Anvil, what is your favorite weapon mod and glory kill? My f well, my favorite weapon is a super shotgun. My favorite mod is a destroyer blade. Or the meat hook, however you want to see it. My favorite glory kill would probably the, be the Marauder where you take his axe and you, you know, uh, execute him. As in lore, is the Doom Slayer weaker in Doom 2016? Uh, yes, yes. Kind of. Let's just take a moment to appreciate the level design, man. Wow, beautiful. Stunning. Oh, wow. They have fire on, on it, okay. Oh, that one's sweet. My favorite glory kill is a Marauder beheading and the Tyrant Crucible kill. Yeah, I like the Marauder one the best. Because it's like, you know, you have like a duel, a 1v1 duel, and then killing your, like, your duel with his own weapon is like, come on. It's like proper, like, combat. It's like Mortal Kombat. Do you think there will be possessed marauders in the DLC? I think there will be, yes. I think there will be at least one. I like the Tyrant Berserker kill. Yes, that's cool. I've never seen someone killing marauder with his axe. I'll show it to you. The next time there's a marauder, I will show you. I like sub the prowlers. Yeah, nice. All right. Okay, okay. You'll need to find a way to activate the power in this part of the city. Hey, Anvil, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Uh, thank you very much, Retro. I'm doing much, much better now, man. And how are you doing? And also, how is everyone else doing that's uh, watching the, ch the stream? How are you guys? Um, what is the demon that pisses you off the most? Oh, uh, that's a good question, man. I would say the Mancubus pisses me off the most. I love how they implemented the meat hook into the traversal puzzles. I fully agree. I love this, man. I love this platforming. So much fun. We're waiting for the DLC to release on Microsoft Store. <laughs> Constipated? Nice, dude. Nice. That's the way. Constipation is the way. Much better the tag 2 is out. Agreed. I'm sad I'm on a trip and don't go home for two days so I can't play the DLC. Damn, dude, that sucks. But at least you're watching me play, you know, that's... 
I hope that I can provide you that level of uh, entertainment. Because everyone here, including myself, is experiencing this for the first time. So all of us are in the forge together. Okay, that's that's the deal. We are all we are all in the forge together. Okay, so there's a hammer pickup down there, but I already have a full hammer. I don't want to go down there. That's fair enough, Callow. Fair enough. Wait, my, uh, what? Did my meat hook just break? We are all brothers and sisters in the forge. You are correct. Huh. Okay. So this gate needs to go down somehow. Alright, I see how it is. In that case, I'll need to go in here. Insert meat hook just works. <laughs> yeah. What difficulty are you on? I'm on ultra violence because I want to have fun. Power restored. You should be able to continue towards the gate now. Because I want to have fun and I want other people to have fun too. Oh, okay. Riot soldier. Oh, we got the chain gunner, boys. The Riot's Soldier's indestructible shield absorbs all frontal damage. Shoot behind their shield to destroy them. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Uh, yeah, of course. You have to use remote detonation. I see how it is. I see how it is. Oh, well. Freaking precision bolt. Why are you gonna let me down like this? What's popping, bros? Oh man. The fire is popping. If we are if we in the fo forge, what material will we smelt in? You we will all smelt into greatness. It looks like a juggernaut. Scratch that, the minigunner now pisses me off. Yeah, I'm kind of annoyed, but then again... I kind of like that they are making you use other mods, but at the same time, you know, whatever. Use the ice bombs for the riot shields and make sure the ice bomb hits next to the shield. Yeah, I'll try that. I'm gonna try the uh, grenades, the sticky bombs, and the ice grenade. We'll see how it goes. That was so much fun. That was actually fun. Did I miss any secrets? No, I didn't. Or I don't think I did. And I haven't used the BFG yet, so I'm pretty happy with that. Ooh, oh my god, look at all the hammers, man. This is gonna be an interesting fight, I think. Ooh, of course. The Slayer's Mark. With sword and might. Okay, okay. How do you feel about the new HUD elements? I freaking love it. I love it so much, man. I really, really love it. Seriously, Hugo was not lying when he said that the few things that are going to add in the DLC are going to revolutionize like Doom Eternal. I love this UI, man. So good. Is there any lore explanation on how the Slayer can just get torn apart or explode in Doom 2016? Uh, not really. One of the best glory kills to me is the Gladiator, how you take out his weapon. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this.
Okay, there's these ones. I need to round them up. It's anvil time? Yes. Yes, it is. Let's try six sticky bombs on this one. Oh, wow, dude. Sticky bombs actually works. I love that. I like it a lot. Oh, yes. Give it to me. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm ready. Oh, what? That didn't work. All right, let's try again. I need to find a hammer. I need to find the hammer pickup. Where is it? Come on, come on. Oh, yes. Now that is how you finish it. Fatality. It's anvil time. Oh, yes. It's not hammer time. It's anvil time. All right, guys that are in chat. If someone says hammer time and they're like new to the chat, please correct them. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I'm in math right now, but this is so entertaining to watch. To, not to watch. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine, man. Hugo said that with skilled play, you could kill a marauder in one hit with the hammer. Yeah. Doom Slayer wins. Fatality. I'm gonna go for round two, guys. This is this is not finished yet. We're only getting started. All right, guys. I want you to say the magic word. What time is it? And when you say the correct word, I will then start the second encounter, the more difficult one. Come on, I want to see more people saying it. Four people is not enough. Yes. I love you guys, man. I love you guys so much. So they're immune to the hammer. Interesting. Well, they 
There we go, our first possessed enemy. Oh no you don't. Oh no you don't. Come on, let me glory kill. Hey, that's not... That's not good. I need the hammer. I need to get a one more glory kill so I can get the uh, the hammer time. Well, anvil time. Sorry, my mistake. Oh, come on, man. Just... Oh, no. Whoa! Whoa! Freaking one cycle the Marauder, man. That's what I'm talking about. Victory. Flawless victory. Oh my god. Fucking hell, this thing is so much fun, man. This DLC is legit. All right, let me read the chat because, you know, I have to. Um, yes, so many anvil times. I love this. He is going to suffer in the boss fight. Who, me? Uh, and we're going to have nightmares and PTSD from Ultra Nightmare Dark Lord fight. <laughs> Dying prowlers sound like puppies. Yeah. Sorry, I'm new to streams. It's all good. Imagine playing this DLC with all cheats on. Yes. Try the anvil on the marauder. I did. I did. Delete the marauder challenge. Anvil time. The riot guard is less like a mobile marauder. Yes. When fighting a doom hunter without their shield, use a lock-on burst weapon mod. Yeah, I know. That's that's what I do. That's I use the lock-on on the, uh, the doom hunter. You can use the microwave beam on the dog to fall to the marauder. Yeah, I know. Um, you know, I'd rather use a precision shot or the, the sticky bomb to get rid of it. Gotta go, be right back. Alright, Raven. It has to be green as soon as you kill the dog, Michael Philip. Yeah, that is correct. Yeah, it has to be. Uh, the Marauder needs to have his shield down. Attention to maintenance team. Please report to Gate of Devoom Operations Center. Yes. Give it to me. Man, that was fun. Right, let's read the codex entry now. Uh, the right soldiers, yeah. Let's read their codex entry. Like their fallen comrades in arms, the once heavy infantry for Earth's defenses have now succumbed to the darkness. Now marching under the banner of the Dark Lord, they unleash a firestorm upon humanity, sentinels, and any other thing within their warpath. 
emboldened by blessed shields raided from Erdak. Erdak, interesting. The Rive soldiers firmly assert their dominance within combat. Okay. The Gate of Devoom. Wow, look at that. Look at that. I'm guessing this is supposed to be the father right here. This, uh, this being. Built eons ago by the father, first deity of the makers, the gate of Devoom was used to access the hidden city of Imora deep within, deep in the heart of hell. The father used the gate to travel into hell and oversee Imora, keeping personal watch over the dark city. The portal has been inactive since the Dark Lord was cast down by the Father himself. Now dormant, it requires a tremendous energy source to reactivate. When the Father willingly gave up his throne in Erdak, and with the aid of his loyal servant Samur Maker, yes, he was deconstructed into the AI known as Vega. That is correct. In this form, he obscured himself from the vision of the Dark Lord and maintained close watch over his creations on Earth. The Gate of Devoom remains unused and hidden from all who would seek to access the Dark Lord's realm. Uh, okay, let me just read the chat before I begin. Is there a purchase skin? Yes, there is. It's a skin called Conan the Barbarian or something like that. It's, it's a bit of a meme, but yeah, whatever. Go to Doomslayer here, level 2. Yeah, I'm brand new to the game. I have never played this game before. I am 100% brand new. I'm level 2. Uh, regarding the microwave beam on the dog, Under the Mayo did a video on that. The Marauder has to have his shield down when he's... Yeah, I know. Yeah, I saw the Under the Mayo's video. Yeah. Uh, I'm totally unfazed by Tag 2's soundtrack. Do you guys want me to turn up the soundtrack? Imagine sitting in a room ready to stop the Doomslayer in his tracks just for him to pull out a big red hammer and turn you into tomato paste. Yeah, man. Well, we don't have to imagine it. That's exactly what I did. I can't be the only one who plays the Doom soundtrack when working out at the gym, right? No, you're not the only one. Trust me. All right, people want to see me increase the audio, so I will do that. Let's make it 50. Let's make it 60. Okay. Let me know if you guys can still hear me after turning the volume up. All right, testing one, two, three. Can you still hear me clearly? All right, nice. Any secrets I've missed? No, no secrets. Okay. I have to traverse. Hmm. Let's try something. Oh. Oh, I have to swim underwater. I see how it is. Wait, does the Doom Slayer not need the, uh, the oxygen tanks anymore? Kind of interesting. Wow, look at this. Beautiful. Oh, uh, look at the god rays. Wow. Alright, see you later, uh, Doomslayer. Have uh, good luck with your studies, man. Uh, doesn't look like there's a secret down here, I don't think.
Okay, the middle one. Nope. Okay, I can just sidestep it, but all right. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. The Chairman's Club. Only the best. Founder, Robert Altman. Established 1999. Okay. 1999? What? The Doom Universe is like 2150 something. the music and gun volume at the same amount do you guys who else wants me to raise the volume of the uh of the gun because to me it sounds okay Yeah, I agree. It would be too loud. I'm going to leave it as it is. Another codex entry. The betrayal of the father. Interesting. Let's have a look at this. So that's the image, huh? So these are the con makers. And that's Davoth in the middle along with his L army. Okay. Our research shows that maker history and lore holds truth that are not consistent with passage passages found in the Hell Priest text, revealing the true origins of Hell and all surrounding dimensions. This revelation would explain why Hell is a single dimension that connects to all others, and why it is the oldest in existence, the first world, which is correct, that is 100% correct. In the beginning of the world of Jekad, later known as Hell, prospered under the guidance of their leader, Davoth. He longed to save the riddle of immortality from his, for his people, an ability only he possessed. Okay. His efforts met with failure, as mortal flesh could not sustain the undying spirit. Using his unrivaled power, he crafted the Maker race to find the solution their machine minds working in unison. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. He longed to solve the riddle of immortalities for his people, an ability only he possessed. His efforts met with failure, as mortal flesh could not sustain the undying spirit. Using his unrivaled power, he crafted the Maker race? Holy shit. Because in the base game, it says that the father created the makers. What the hell? Davoth was obsessed in, this, in his effort to eliminate death from the world of Jackad. When the makers discovered the secrets of immortality, they deemed the knowledge too dangerous to share. For in their judgment, Davoth had come to be seen as an eventual threat to all life. The Makers acted in secret and worked quickly to seal Jackad away, and Davoth with it, while the records of Erdak were rewritten to hide the truth. Enraged, Davoth became the Dark Lord as vengeance and hatred consumed him and his world, transforming it into Hell. 
Um, hold on. Hold the hell on. The name of the codex says the betrayal of the father. But the codex talks about Davoth being betrayed by his maker race that he created. Holy shit. Davoth is the father. I think. Based on this text, Davoth is the father. I don't know how. Let me just quickly read it again. The makers acted in secret and worked quickly to seal Jackad away. The father, sorry, the father did not seal Jackad. It was the makers that sealed Jackad based on this text. So the, so the, the father's own creation, the makers sealed him away because the father wanted immortality for his people. And since it says it right here, he longed to solve the riddle of immortalities for his people an ability only he possessed. What the hell, man? Holy shit. Wow, I... Damn, I can't even believe this. Makers betrayed him because they found Davoth to be way too uh, dangerous. Davoth was, well, Davoth is evil. He's not a good guy. Retconning? I don't know, man. We'll, we'll have to keep going and see what happens. Attention. Power activated for city subsection. Then how was there the father's life sphere and the Davoth life sphere? See, my theory has always been that that life sphere was actually Samuel Hayden's, not the fathers because the moment the doom slayer destroys it the only person that is immediately affected by the destroying of the life sphere is samuel hayden no one else if it was actually the father's life sphere every maker would have been affected every single one of them and so my theory has always been that the seraphim is Sort of like the opposite of Davoth, like he was, you know, the creator. What? Damn, but this doesn't make sense as to why the father removed the life sphere, but maybe that was all a lie. Maybe it was the makers that removed the life sphere. What the hell? What the hell? Let me just read the chat. I just came back when you said, damn, what the hell, please fill me in. Can someone from chat please fill in retro on what we're just talking about? What if it's like Diablo? Yeah, man. Yeah, could be. I don't, could be, man. Could be. I don't know what's going on. I'm watching this since the start. Maybe he split his life force into two, one good side, one. Yeah, it could be. Um, so in some ways they related the creation of reality in Christian and Norse mythology into the Doom lore. Yeah, it looks like it. That's what the Almanac said, he just read it. This is mind fudgery. Split life force into good and bad side probably. Yeah, well, we'll see man, this... Yeah.
Okay, that wasn't too bad. Um, at this point, I just want to see the ending already. Davos and the father are two different beings. What would happen if Samuel Hayden got the life sphere? I'm not sure. The makers may have sealed the realm, but I think the father worked with them to beat him and take the life sphere away. Yeah, that seems to be the case, but it says that the father created the makers from his own essence. But then it says here that it was Davos that created them because he wanted the uh, answer to immortality. So I don't know. Lore pages which he read suggest that he's the father. Yeah, agreed. Hugo has some explaining to do in his upcoming stream. Yeah. The makers rewrote the text. Yeah, they. it says that they rewrote the original text. Yes. I guess we'll find out as we keep playing. So there's no point in uh, getting like, you know. I think even though Davoth made the makers, he isn't the father Vega is. Yeah, I, I think you're right, Gumball. I think you're right. We'll just have to see. Uh, I don't, I don't want to, you know, uh, assume any anything more because I just want to experience it, you know? Uh, YouTube recommending me YouTube Premium right out of nowhere in the middle of a stream. Yeah, sorry, dude. They might be pushing a, against an agenda against him, possibly. Talk about history being written in the eyes of the victorious. <laughs> Uh, Call of Duty, uh, General Shepard reference, I see. Perhaps both created their own makers. Bat Sam? I think you might be right, dude. I actually think you might be right. But we'll see, we'll see. It's still cool how humanity went from loving Hayden to loving the real hero, yeah. Maybe Davoth yonked the father's life sphere on, from his life sphere, yeah. Alright, we got another question coming from the chat. When the father life force was gone, the maker became demonic because... Yeah. Am I missing any secrets? Uh, not really, so good. Good to go. Hold up, are there anything else? Just a BFG hammer. I only need one codex entry, so that's cool. Uh, hello Joseph, how's it going man? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the best stream you'll ever be a part of. Okay, so we go here. Oh my god, are you kidding me, man? I thought I had two dashes already. Uh, let's try that again. There we go. Oh shit. Look there, he's trying to, she's trying to hide behind the, uh, the thing. Um, so, 
if Davoth is killed and that destroys Hell Dimension because Hugo said it is an extension of Davoth, yes, then wouldn't that mean that if he's the father, then killing him kills all of creation? That is a good question, a good connection, and we'll find out. Josh and Hugo are going to be sweating with all the lore inconsistency questions. <laughs> oh man, I'm starting to put a list together to do that. I love him, he reads our chats. I love you too. Because we are all part of the forge. Is the chain gunner shield just straight indestructible? Yes. Watch out for them screechers, oh yes. Uh, just joined not long ago, didn't see the tutorial. No plasma rifle it. But no, they're immune to it. Yeah, the ones with the purple effect on them are the screechers. Okay. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, good one, Kako. This is an automated alert. The gate of Devoon is offline. Please reschedule further testing until power has been restored. Okay. There's a secret there and I need to get it. Are there new outfits? Yeah, there are, yes. Once I finish the, uh, the game, I will show you all the new outfits for whoever that is new to this stream. Ooh, okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, so if you have the curse, you cannot use dash and lock on and mid hook. So now that we know, good to know. Uh, your thing is uh, coming. Uh, it's hidden. Oh shit, I feel a bob coming. Guys, you know what time it is. Come on guys, I want to see it in chat. What time is it? That's right, baby. It is anvil time.
man i love this chat seriously i love this chat man i love you guys the fact that you guys are like so active when it comes to like the proper time damn dude i love it it's okay xavier i will forgive you this time next time you have to say the ma the correct word yeah so far i'm gonna be honest so far man the uh, fights in this dlc are very very well balanced they're a lot of fun a lot of fun to do but then again i am playing on ultra violence it should get a lot more interesting in nightmare so but yes at first i was confused whether i was going to do ultra nightmare this dlc i am 100 going for ultra nightmare i don't care i'm doing it Yeah, I think Michael, I think you might be right about what you just said. That connection you made. The Tainted Prophecy. Ooh, now we're getting into this. Oh, shit. Okay. From this image, we know this is correct. We know this is in fact what happened because the Khan Maker was working with the Dark Lord to produce Argent Energy in Necrovol, in Hell. So this image right here, 100% correct and no inconsistencies here. Let's do this. It was believed by cultist members of the UAC that the creation of the Slayer was guided in secret by the Dark Lord himself. He did it to destroy the Makers and their world as punishment. His hope to exact revenge on the servant race who had betrayed him. Guys. Guys. His hope to exact revenge on the servant race who had betrayed him. In this codex entry, the betrayal of the father. Look who's in the image in the middle. It's Davoth. Not the father. It's Davoth. We're getting closer to this mystery, guys. Even without a physical form, the Dark Lord can still have a powerful influence, especially against ones susceptible to corruption. He touched the mind of the Khan Maker, leader of the Maker race, convincing her that there was a chosen one who would threaten her rule, which is correct. Which is the prophecy about the destroyer who would who would destroy Erdak. So that line right there is 100% accurate. I love it. The Khan set out to find him, paranoid, afraid of his of this hidden potential hidden threat. The Dark Lord convinced her was close. She would do anything to find and destroy the hidden beast. Yeah, man, 100, and 100 plus of viewers. Freaking awesome, man. Welcome to everyone and that's here. Okay, so I've got 100% completion. All right, guys, we're about to go to the unholy realm of Immora. The Gate of Divun, the only way into the most ancient part of Hell. The Dark Lord is there, waiting for you. He will not allow the city to be overtaken. Like you, he will fight to the end. I think I hit the nail on the head. I think you, uh, I think you might be right, Michael. I think Davoth and Doomslayer are going to be sealed together. That's the only way to win because killing him may destroy all of creation. That's a good way to put Doomslayer to rest and save the world. I think you might be right. All weapons are forged in Anvil. Yes. We're approaching the end. I think we are. Uh, goodbye Vega. We'll always remember you. Yes. Strange that she was awfully friendly to us before we tried to end her race. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, let's do this, boys.
Nice. We're getting 100% completion so far, so hell yes. Okay, one second. I'm going to change the stream title to include 100% completion. Because I want, like, more people to watch. <laughs> Gumball. I like that, man. My vengeance ends now. Sadly, yes, we're going to get a new protagonist, maybe a new marine. The gods of Argenta have abandoned me, and now there is no hope. The final battle has begun, using the Gate of Devoom to access the Heart of Hell. The Slayer now stands before the Gate of Imora, ready to face the, the, the Dark Lord. Armies now gather as the Dark Realm prepares for war. And the coming conflict will decide the fate of all. The final anvil time. That's right. Alright, man. Let's do this. Yes! I'm just going to pause for one second. Just one second. I know it hurts. I know it hurts when people pause. Trust me. I just need to do something. Alright, I'm going to turn off slow mode. Because I want people to really be freaking hyped about this shit. And what else did I want to do? There was something else. Ah, uh, yes. Let's try to go for a no UI. Let's do this. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Some people's comments are getting hidden because you're using the F word for some reason. 
Hey, uh, Kalo, would you be willing to moderate this chat, please? Would you be okay to doing that? Kalo, will you, will you be okay? Will you, are you up to, um, moderating the chat? Uh, is there anyone here that is uh, experienced with uh, moderating the chat? But to be honest, Kalo, it's, it's really not that hard, man. If someone's comment is hidden, you'll just see a button saying either hide or show. That's it. it it's really easy. Because I don't want to have to keep all tabbing and uh, freaking, you know, showing people's comments because it ruins the flow. Alright, uh, Doom Guy, I'm gonna trust you on this, man. I don't... Don't betray my trust, please. Because this is a, a moment for everyone here. So I'm gonna trust you on this, okay? Alright, Doom Guy, you are now the moderator of this chat. Can someone say the F word or something like that? Someone say, like, the F word. And then, uh, let me see if, uh, the Doom Guy... Sorry, Doom Guy can see it. Oh, easy, 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 easy. Just a couple of people, man. Oh my god. Hey, Doom Guy, can you, like, see all of that? Like, can you, like, fix it? Hey, uh... Wait, really? What? Why? Oh, man. How do I do... How do I do this? I, I know, but, uh... Oh, man. Okay, I just, I just changed an option, okay? Okay, I just changed an option. Man, you guys are gonna get my video demonetized with the amount of people that said the F word. Hold on, let me just show, oh my god, so many people. Okay, I think, okay, can, at least, okay, um, uh... Kalo, can you say the F word, please? Just one person, please. I want to make sure that this, uh, this setting works. Okay, I think it should be okay. Whoops. Alright, it doesn't matter, let's do it. Actually, that's a good idea. I might just turn off chat on the, uh... ...on the stream. Good idea. Thanks for letting me know. How did I not pick that up? Come on, give me...
I just picked up a, uh, picked up a thing. Let's read through this and let's do it. Uh, Anvil Clan, let's end this fight that we started. Yes, this clan is called the Forge Fire Clan. Oh, let's look at the image. The Divinity Machine right here, okay? Davos is whispering something to the con maker and the con maker is making the Divinity Machine. Okay, let's read this. The Dark Lord guided the hand of the con maker as she directed the creation of the Divinity Machine. The father had saved the father had saved an element of the Dark Lord before he betrayed him and went into hiding. For he was reluctant to destroy all parts of his creator. This piece of the Dark Lord remained sealed within the coffins of Erdak. Knowing this, the Dark Lord guided the conmaker to it and she took its discovery as a sign from a higher power. She descended from the mountains of Enkriman with the shard needed to power the divinity machine they had created to save all worlds. The father. Interesting. So father. So devil created the father. Wow. 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 You know what, I'm actually going to show the chat because I actually, f sorry, because I actually find when people spam anvil, anvil time or anvil smash to be like the highlight of my stream. So I want people to see it. I want people to see this, uh, this forge that we are in, this clan that we are in. Alright boys, let's do this. What time is it boys? I want to see it. I want to see it in chat, man. This is it. I love what I'm seeing. I'm really loving what I'm seeing in the in the chat. Good job guys, keep it up. 
I love what I'm seeing, man. get over those walls to continue the assault. Okay. Let's go for round two. Fight. Fatality. Yes. Yes. I love what I'm seeing in chat, man. I love it. All right, I'm just going to pause right here for just one second so that I may change something really small. Just give me one second. Uh... Give me one second. Checking this out. Does anyone know how to increase the number of comments you can see? On the uh, on the window, because I think I, there's not that many comments showing up on like the uh, the thing. I think, right? Or is that just me? Hold on, I think I may have gotten it. Hold on, I think I may have gotten it.
All right, the next time we do the, the uh, the next time we do the war chant or the war cry of Anvil Time or Anvil Smash, either way works. I will see how many uh, comments show up, okay? Don't do it yet. Just wait for the right time, all right? Wait for the right time. Okay, I don't know where to go. Uh, I'm just kidding. I know where to go. Just making sure that I have not missed... Oh, I've missed two extra lives, guys. I think I need to go back and get it. Well, that was easy. Whoa, ho, did you guys see that? Let's have a look at this again. Whoa, ho, 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 whoa, look at that. Oh, wow. Whoa, man. Whoa, oh, shit. Now that's what I'm talking about. Now that is beautiful. Look at that. Alright guys, what time is it? What time is it? Come on, come on, you, you, you can do better than that. Bang! Yes! It's either Anvil Time or Anvil Smash. You, you can choose whichever one you want to say. Whoa, this is going to get serious now.
Yes, I turned off the HUD. Maximum immersion, that's right. Oh yes. This is armor from Doom 2016 multiplayer. Stand in line, warriors. The anvil is here. Oh! We had no idea Hell had their own technology. It must have been centralized here, like some kind of ruling elite. This place looks like Erdak, guys. A lot like Erdak. Alright. Time for another uh, codex entry. Time for another codex entry. Let's look at the image first. Davoth, looking over the first or the main demon invasion of Arjun Dinur, specifically in Taris Nabad. That's the Titan, the Dreadnought, I think, that they sent. And you can see the uh, Argento warriors defending against the first demon invasion. Let's have a look. The makers tested several sentinel warriors of Argent Dinur in the divinity machine, driving them mad and destroying their souls each time. But the search for the beast continued. On the eve of the Black Star during the siege of Taras Nabad, a vision took hold of the Khan's servant, Samur Maker. Thoughts of sedition had grown within the loyal Chancellor, poisonous doubts that clouded his faith. The Khan Maker will lead us to ruin, the voice said, and the idea grew. Who could this voice be? And also I was right about the image, so I'm happy that my lore is, you know, working good. Oh, I forgot to read about Emora. Why don't you guys tell me? Okay, that is Amora. We can see it has a lot of maker tech. But demonic in symbols on it. So this demonic symbol here. Okay, interesting. Translations of ancient texts name Amora as the capital city of hell. Davoth, the creator of this primal realm, came to be known as the Dark Lord after the betrayal by the race of makers he had crafted. Sealed off against his will from the other dimensions, the first world, known then as Jekad, fell into corruption and transformed over time into hell. Once a paradise at the dawn of creation, Imora now survives as a stronghold where the Dark Lord resides. Sustained now by the essence of hell's victims, the people of Imora experience life eternal. Interesting. Sustained now by the essence of Hell's victims. Okay. Regular infusions of Hell energy have prevented them from transforming into demons found outside the boundaries of the city. Ancient technology defends Imora from invaders. The high walls impenetrable to those who would bring harm to the last people of the first world. Pretty much everything that I theorized in my previous videos has come true. And I also said that Hell Energy provides biological augmentation. Same with the Wraith Energy. And guess what? I was right. Whoa, 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 new enemies, guys, look. Guys, new enemies. Oh, uh, they don't have any gl glory kills. God damn it. They have no glory kills.
Yes, the wraiths were the first people on Arjun Denur, you're right. All right, guys, let's do this. Oh, I'm being pulled into the vo vortex. I just want to get a look at this thing, but okay, whatever. Whoa. Whoa. Immora. Guys, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. This is an arena. Oh ho! Okay, you cannot chainsaw the uh, screechers. You cannot chainsaw them. I got a bit too excited and I just became distracted. Okay, so I'm supposed to go down. All right. Uh, Raphael, uh, do you mean play it like straight after, after with the cheat codes? Not straight after. But at some point, I will be playing through it. I have already decided that I will be doing Ultra Nightmare in this DLC. 100%. The Chain Gunners are pretty, uh, pretty good. Like, they're fairly easy to uh, kill, to be honest. They're good. They're a good addition.
Did I miss? Oh, yes, you are correct. Thank you for letting me know. I did miss a uh, codex entry. Okay, let's let's try this. Yeah, boy, that's how we do it. The rise of the Slayer. View image. We have the Seraphim, we have the Slayer with the mark of the Slayer or the mark of the Dark Lord. So it was a Dark Lord that wanted... Ah, uh, yes, that makes the prophet. It makes sense now. The prophecy makes sense. Davoth wanted someone who was powerful enough to destroy the Makers from within. Because Davoth was stuck inside his realm. He couldn't do it. So he manipulated the Seraphim to create the Slayer. Wow, man. Wow. Samur was blinded with newfound conviction as, unbeknownst to him, the voice of the Dark Lord controlled and compelled him to free a stranger from his prison and bring him to the Divinity Machine. Samuel knew without knowing that if the machine could destroy a life, it could also empower it with blinding ability. The one who would emerge from the machine would stop the reckless Khan Maker from leading his people to ruin. Convinced he was doing what must be done, Samur reversed the polarity of the machine and gave rise to the super being who would stop the Khan Maker and save them all. Another codex entry is here. Demonic Trooper. Imora's warrior caste defends the ancient city, keeping watch over the walls since the betrayal of their creator millennia ago. The Imperial Guard of Davoth's remains an honored position amongst the citizens of Emora, wielding armor and weapons forged in the fires of hate and suffering. Their loyalty and devotion to Davoth is unwavering, having waited eons for the return of their rightful leader. Uh, no, we have not figured out who the wretch was. Not yet, anyway. Do a secret run where you get all secrets. That's literally what I'm doing now. Uh, I don't know. That's exactly what I'm doing. This is a 100% run. Let's see if they can be chainsawed. No, they cannot be chainsawed. Okay, so I think we're supposed to go up there, but I need to know how. I'm gonna have to turn on the UI. Just for a couple seconds.
I see, I see. Also, let me try something else with the UI. Compass on. No. Yes. Yes. Alright, now that's better. Much better now. Uh, Ballista jump, maybe. The Slayer goes easy on demonic people. I don't know. Uh, no, that doesn't seem to work. I think you're supposed to come in from that door or something. Maybe. Yeah, it looks like you come in from like a different path. So you go this way, you go through this door, and then you go up. Okay, cool, cool. Hey, thank you for that. Thank you for that. I don't know what he said, but thank you for that. Yeah, I'm not sure what he said, but uh, thank you for uh, doing that. Appreciate it. Last codex entry is, I'm guessing, well, right here. We're getting close, guys. We're getting really close now. Okay. Let me just uh, collect my thoughts. Hey, uh, Callow? I'm gonna add you as a moderator, dude. Just in case, you know, there's people out there that are trying to create spoilers and stuff. So, I'm gonna actually get, um, make you uh, a um, a thing. Hey, uh, Jimmy plays Roblox. I'm gonna make you a moderator as well. Uh, who else? Uh, hey, uh, Gumball, I'm gonna make you a moderator as well. Retro Gamer 303, you're a moderator as well. And, uh, Michael Phillips, you're a moderator as well. Alright, guys, we're getting close.
Falcon, can I be a moderator? I only... I'm only making moderators for who, you know, people that I trust. Well, because Gumball, I made you a moderator because you don't want spoilers as much as I do, so that's why you're a moderator. Okay. This is Erdak. Conmaker dead. Erdak is in ruins. Sounds good. Arc entry 666. It came to be ordained by Samr's vision. The Slayer became the unstoppable force of rage against all evil, but eventually he would turn on his masters and destroy the deceitful Khan once her alliance with the demons had been exposed to him. A corrupted Erdak lay in ruin, and Samr would soon be judged by the very savior he had created, just as Davoth had foreseen. The Dark Lord had forged the bearer of his vengeance through those that had betrayed him. It was the ultimate revenge. His monster would now come for him, and he would have to destroy that which gave him his retribution against the Makers. Davoth would not run, for he knew the beast would find him. They would do battle on sacred platforms where the Dark Lord's minions would lie in wait to observe the outcome. All right, guys. We're getting close. Um. Ah, uh, damn. See a lemon. Have a good one, dude. That sucks, man. All right, man. Let's let's do this. Y'all know what time it is. Y'all know what time it is. No, I have not died yet.
yes. Yes. I'm just going to pause right here. I'm just going <laughs> to... Fucking hell, man. So much going on, man. So much going on. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. We're at 231 viewers. Welcome to everyone. Should I use the power up or should I not use the power up? That is the question. Also, while you guys answer that question, I'll be right back. I need a glass of water. Like, really badly. Okay, I have my water. I am hydrated with the blood of the demons. So what did people say? Power up or no power up? I just want to see a yes or no in chat. Yes power up or no power up? A lot more people are saying yes. The Forge has spoken. Approaching the Dark Lord Sanctum. I'm starting to lose my connection though. Doomslayer, sir. I won't be able to. My vengeance ends now. In the last age, in the last battle, 
when the shadows first lengthened, he stood. Ancient gods bear witness as the Slayer and the Dark Lord enact the rite of combat before the throne room of Emora, a challenge to determine the fate of existence. and war to thwart the Dark Realm, but conflict was born in Hell. It is inevitable. A fire that fuels creation and gives purpose where there is none. Slayer, okay. I, I, I'm sorry, he works like the uh, the Marauder. I see, I see. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. Come on, fight me! Hit me! Oh! Let's do this. Okay, I see how it is.
Oh, damn it. Shit. In more fucking sanctum, boys. Damn it. Ah, shit. Okay. I think I have an idea.
damn it. Wow. This music is amazing. See ya, Gumball. Have a good one, man. Thank you for coming to the stream and being an active member, man. I appreciate it.
Uh, you're just in time, Doomslayer. Just in time, man. You missed the best part. This was possibly the best DLC I think I've played in a very long time. Very, very long time. Easily... You know what? This is easily one of the best games I have ever played in my entire life. And this DLC is perfect. Absolutely perfect. From the combat, to the graphics, the visuals, the combat mechanics, the refined you know, arena matches and how difficult they were, it's... They... This is perfection. This is legitimately perfection. I'm not gonna skip the credits, don't worry. I'm gonna watch the whole thing. This is not only perfection, this is a masterpiece. This will definitely go down as the best FPS in history. I agree, Umesh. I fully agree. Once the uh, credits is over and we get to see everything, we will have a good discussion about the lore, so stick around. Trust me, I have a very good theory about uh, what what is going to happen, or what it's all about. I'm just going to wait for uh, after the credits to talk about my theory. Plus, I want to enjoy this music.
Hey, thank you, uh, Spectre09. I really appreciate you coming along, man. I really enjoyed having you in my stream. It was great. Thank you. And I hope to see you again. And everyone else. I hope to see everyone else again in uh, future live streams. What's your prediction on the next game? Also, do you think that this DLC is better gameplay than Doom 2016? Yes. This DLC is better gameplay than Doom 2016. 100%. No doubt about it. Uh, please stop spamming, dude. Please stop sp spamming. Tell your friend, uh, hey Declan, tell your friend um, to re-watch this stream if he wants to have that authentic feel. Or he can just play the game itself, of course. Yeah, these are some very long credits. God, thank you very much, Hugo, Marty, and everyone at It Software. If any one of them are watching this stream, know this for all time. Thank you for such an amazing game and such an amazing experience. Hell's Mightiest Warrior. One hundred percent. Oof. Wow. Wow, what an experience, man. Let's go through some of the cosmetics and then we'll go through the, uh, the theories and stuff. Let's go through the cosmetics. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's okay. Not really my thing, though. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, that's cool. Uh, not really my thing. That's the skin I was talking about when you buy uh, the DLC. The Conan the Barbarian one. Yeah, that is pretty funny, I have to admit.
Oh, I like this. I like this a lot, but I still prefer the original. New skin for the B. Oh, gold BFG, boys. Uh, yeah, no, I'm still going to keep the uh, sigil skin. Refreshing. I don't know what this one is. Grogar approaches and stay out. Let's let's try it out. Okay. Got the background. That's pretty cool. Not too bad, not too bad. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this. Damn, this is good. This is very good. Alright, what icon is there? Ancient Gods Completion. Titan. World Spear Eyes. Eye. Overgrown. Cool. Immoran Fortress. Dark Lord's Armor. Cool. Oh yeah, Commander Valen, boys. Worthy. Conqueror. I like that a lot. Gatekeeper of Devoon. Eh, not too bad. Gate Smasher. I like it. Hammer Master. Ooh. <laughs> Hammer Master, boys. Legions of Hell. So, which one should I go for? Should I go for Hammer Master? Or should I keep... Oh wait, there's more. Hold up. Lord Slayer, Loyalist, Reclaimer. Should I stick with Hell's Mightiest Warrior, which is something I really like? Or should I go with Hammer Master? Let me know in the chat which one should I go for. Oh, wow. Literally everyone. Wow. The Forge has spoken. It is done. <sighs> wow, what an experience, man. What an experience. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so... Alright, so... What have we learned... Okay, theory time, by the way. 
And I'm pretty much sort of making up my theory um, as we go. So, what have we learned from this DLC? So we know that Davoth was the ultimate creator. He created everything. But, he was the only one that had the power of immortality. And he wanted immortality for his very select few people. Uh, my theory is that the Seraphim, he didn't put the Father Blood, but the Dark Lord Blood in the Slayer at the Divinity Machine. So that is why the Slayers stand above them. So... Um, so, Davoth then created the Father, and of course the Makers, in order to find the solution to immortality. Okay. The makers found it, but they deemed that the f that Davoth's uh, Davoth's I guess obsession with doing whatever it took to attain immortality for his people was inherently evil. That Davoth would willingly risk all of creation, possibly. Uh, again, right? He has a power to create it. He has a power to destroy it. To basically kill everything and everyone again and again until he finds it. Until he finds a solution to immortality. So, based off of that logic, the makers sealed him away by betraying him, by betraying their very creators. Okay? Then, the Dark Lord at this time because he is the creator, he has the power to speak to people through whispers. Or at least corrupt the minds of people, which he did. So he corrupted the mind, he basically orchestrated the entire revenge plot by literally creating the Slayer to do his revenge. Okay? That is, that is the entire goal when people say, you know, rip and tear until it is done. For the Slayer, it is never really done. Okay, so Slayer went ahead and destroyed Erdak, exactly how Davoth planned. Because again, Davoth could never leave Hell, he was stuck there for, well, for the entire time. So, we don't know, uh, we don't know who sent the Sentinel Crystal. Erdak is still in one piece, yes, but it is pretty much destroyed, as we see in the Holt. The mission, the Holt, it is... Most of it is just damage. Uh, the few remaining machines that are alive, well, they're alive because of... Uh, um, because of... The, uh, the Vega, or the Father, which is like the AI, right? Exactly, so... So someone sent or created a sentinel crystal which housed the elemental wraiths. And at first we thought there were only three, but there were way, way more than three. And they're the ones that gave life or created life on um, Argent Denur. Okay. So, exactly what are the wraiths? That is the main question. So, obviously, the Slayer does whatever he does, starting from Doom 2016, okay? He... This is described that... I think... I'm trying to go back a little bit in history. When the Slayer went into Hell, okay? When the people... Okay. When the people of Argenta, when they were going through a civil war, okay? And the Betrayer... As Commander Valen betrayed his people, all the Night Sentinels that went through the portal into Hell were stuck there forever, okay? It was at that point, most if not all the Night Sentinels were dead, were killed, except for Valen and except for the Doomslayer. 
The Doom Slayer went through an entire rampage in hell because he did not have a way to come back. The Hell Priests were still alive because they were still part of um, the Maker race. And, and by extension, sorry, they were still serving the Makers and so, you know, it sort of makes sense. The Doom Slayer then went through, you know, rancoring his way through hell. David, just play, don't talk. What the fuck are you talking about? I literally just finished the entire DLC. What are you talking about? Now that I finished the DLC, I'm going to talk about the theory, which is what everyone wants to know. Uh, where was I? Yeah, so it was at that point the Hell Priests created a trap. Uh, they created a trap for the Slayer, and then they led the Slayer into the trap to basically imprison him into the coffin. Once he was imprisoned, however many years later, yeah, I was talking to you, David. I've already finished it, so I don't know why you're telling me to play. I don't know why you're demanding that I play, even though I've just finished. So at that point, uh, Sam Samuel Hayden, he goes to hell. Yeah, so he goes to hell and he, he knows about the Slayer. And he, he knows where he's located. Okay. And then what happens is he finds the coffin of the Slayer, who was obviously imprisoned by the hell priests and everything like that. And then Samuel Hayden brings back all of the relics, like the the Korax tablets, the Helix Stone, and the Doom Slayer's armor and his coffin. Okay, he brings it back to the UAC. And then, of course, UAC gets a little bit obsessed with Hell Energy, or I should say Argent Energy. And then they basically, you know, sort of open a portal from both sides. Now, Samuel Hayden's like, oh damn, I made a mistake. I'm going to have to let the Doom Slayer out and do his thing. So the Doom Slayer then is awoken from his uh, slumber. And that is where Doom 2016 begins. Okay, and then the whole event of Doom 2016 happens. Then obviously we don't know what happens between Doom 2016 and Eternal. And then everyone knows what happens in Eternal. And then in the Ancient Gods Part 1, of course, you know, the Seraphim is like, you know, we need to bring back the Father and all this blah blah blah. And then we need to destroy the Dark Lord. Because as it's described in this new DLC, the Makers literally rewrote the entire history to make Davoth the bad guy. Okay? So the Doom Slayer at that point, when he picks up the Life Sphere, that is more than likely either the Father's Life Sphere or it was Samuel Hayden's Life Sphere. It's not been confirmed. My theory is that it is, uh, my theory was that it was Samuel Hayden's, but I think it actually might be, um, the father's life sphere, okay? Then, obviously, he goes to destroy the Dark Lord, and then, obviously, you know, Samur's like, you know, you can't do this, blah, blah, blah. He basically almost kills Samur, sort of, and then Vega or the father teleports Samur away. So Samur is still alive, Vega is still alive, a lot of the Maker race is still alive, the Seraphims are still alive. These people that betrayed Hell or that betrayed the Creator are still alive. But they are not necessarily in the wrong, okay? The only reason why they betrayed Davoth was because he was evil. Davoth wanted the power of immortality at whatever cost. And since he had the power to create and destroy, he could literally do that forever until he finds the solution. So, the Slayer is like, yes, I have been created for one goal and that is to destroy the Dark Lord. And then obviously we have all of the events of uh, the Ancient Gods Part 2, now, as it said in the Codex, sorry, the Korax tablet, okay, 
Yes, Davoth was immortal, but his people were not immortal. Davoth wanted the secret of immortality for his people, not for himself, for his people. Um, yeah, where was, what was I going to say? Damn it. Um, yeah, sorry. As it said in the Korax tablet that... Uh, what did it say? What did it say in the ending of the Korax tablet? It was something like, uh, "You are very powerful or something, and may we never need you again." Okay, that shows to me that the Slayer is still alive. He's not dead. Exactly the same way the Slayer was uh, put in a coffin. Uh, after the Hell Priest's uh, trap, it is the same thing here. Uh, he's, he has been put inside that coffin so that if, if at any point the demons return, the Slayer will then have his uh, duty to fulfill. And also, now that all the demons are stuck within Hell, there have been many dark lords in the past vying for power uh, so from doom 2016 uh, the spider mastermind was a dark lord I think dark lord of the fourth age there have been many ages of different dark lords obviously Davoth being the first one and the main one that we know of now when you're stuck in a prison with nothing but very savage and beast-like people that purely rely on, I guess, natural selection or sort of like being at the top of the food chain. N now that they're stuck in a prison, okay, only the strongest will survive. And eventually, the I guess, evolution and natural selection will only favor the strongest. And whoever is left will then become stronger and stronger and stronger because they have to fight to survive every time. Now imagine, you know, hell always will have one person that is the strongest person. That is literally the byproduct of a sort of like, you know, a warfare or sort of like natural selection or evolution. There will always be one person at the top of the food chain. Eventually, it could take eons, it could take millions of years, however long, Hell, the next Dark Lord, could, could potentially be even stronger than Davoth, potentially. And since the Demonic Crucible still exists, it's still there. Samuel Hayden knows about the Demonic Crucible. In fact, Samuel Hayden is the only person that knows more about the Demonic Crucible than anyone else in the Doomverse. So, there's still the possibility that Samuel Hayden could somehow, or, or anyone else, could open the path to hell again. Why does Davoth have the Slayer's Mark? I believe that is actually the that is actually Davoth's mark. Samuel Hayden didn't... We don't know who created the Crucible. We know that it was... It has been something... A relic that has been there for a ridiculously long time. In hell. I... There is a possibility that Samuel Hayden could become the next Dark Lord, but I guess we'll have to see. Davoth is the creator. He is literally the creator. And because he was the creator and he was immortal, he was always going to be at the top of the food chain. Always. That is more than likely the case, Michael. I think that Davoth was the wretch. 
What if in the future Doomslayer becomes the new Dark Lord, goes into vengeance mode against the father for betraying him? That is a possibility, but I don't think that would happen. I think. Uh, Simon or Simeon, I think. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Yeah, dude, go ahead with your theory about the demonic crucible. The father is the creation of Davos. Davos is like the god. He's like number one. He's the creator. Davos created the father and the maker. Davos never lost his immortality. Well, uh, Sparta, that, that's what I meant, that Davos, because he, he's the creator and therefore the strongest, he was always going to be number one. Um, so I think in, in the Codex entry, it states that um, Davos created the Doomslayer and implanted his, like, you know, his symbols upon him so that people knew... Who was the person responsible for Davos' vengeance? I think that's that's why he put his own symbol upon the Doomslayer because so that everyone that sees this this uh, mark will be like, holy shit, you know, the da Davos is here. Now is Davoth dead? Because his life sphere has been destroyed. When you create someone's life sphere, they effectively become, in a way, vulnerable. They may still be uh, immortal, but they're still in invulnerable. Uh, you know, they could be immortal, but they're not invincible. And, yeah. The father said the Doomslayer died due to him killing Davoth, but how did the father didn't die when he was also made by Davoth? The only remaining part of the father is his intelligence. The artificial intelligence. The physical form of the father is pretty much dead. And we don't really know if uh, the Slayer is dead. He has just been, you know, he's possibly more than likely put back into slumber. Or when he is needed again. They said they were gonna address the plot hole between 2016 and Eternal and they didn't do that. So what's... So that's what I want to know. So the father may created the demonic crucible because he foresaw, foresaw the Slayer's rise to... And in house that when he will return, he will have a weapon to seal them away. Did you beat the DLC? Yes, I did. I've been streaming for like four and a half hours, man. The father can never take physical form again. Based on the events of Tag 1, yes, he can never take physical form again. Because his life sphere is destroyed. Yeah, so Davoth was immortal but he was not invincible because his life sphere was created i want in stasis yeah i think i'm pretty confident that uh the slayer is now uh basically uh in uh, deep slumber i don't think he's dead no way i don't think he's dead at all uh so people want to see my keybinds i'll show you my keybinds my keybinds are mostly uh, default, by the way. That's my keybinds. How will creation be ruled? Who will be the new god? Yeah, that's a good question. Very good question. 
So Vega Father is kind of like a conscience. Yeah, it is. It's like an AI, yeah. Without the the uh, mortality aspect of it, yes. Based on Codex, Davoth influenced Khan Maker to find the Divinity Machine in Arjun Dinur. Then after finding a suitable subject, he influenced Samurai into putting Slayer in the machine. Uh, well, Davoth influenced the Khan Maker, I think, to create the Divinity Machine. And yes, the next part, you are correct. He uh, influenced Samurai to put the Slayer in the machine. Yeah, you're right. The father becomes or makes another Dark Lord. Uh, I don't think the father is going to be the next Dark Lord. Wh wh whoever is the strongest in hell will be the next Dark Lord, of course. What about humans then? Sentinels, are they not Davos creations? Yes, they are Davos creations. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hugo is 100% going to give you a shout out next stream. Yeah, I remember him telling me he, he was going to do that. So I, I would really appreciate it if he did. That'd be fantastic. Well, who created Davos then? That That is possibly the most philosophical question you could ask. No one knows. But based on the Codex entry, Davos has been around for forever, basically. Biggest mystery right now is how or why Slayer didn't die with Davoth. Oh, also, 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 I need to mention this very, very importantly. This is why the Slayer is not dead. Okay? Get ready for this. Actually, I might need to uh, load up the game. Hold up. Let me load up the game. I have a feeling hell will somehow rise again and the Slayer will awaken. Four hours is nothing. Yeah, it's quite a bit. Uh, four hours is quite a bit. When you have other shit to do. Tyrant is a Dark Lord. Anvil time. So they died. No, I don't think the people died. No. No, I don't think they're dead. Ah, oh, man. What the hell? Let me go to another uh, save save game. So if humans and sentinels are his creations, why are they not dead? I'm not sure. I think that he created them. He created the makers and potentially the people of Argenta and the humans with sort of like free will. Um, you know, in a way like he created like free will. To do as they please. Or unless, you know, it could uh, be completely wrong. It could be completely wrong, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's weird. Maybe the father was the primeval all along. And um, Davoth was the creator. I don't know. I don't know, man. Nope, not this one. I agree with you, Michael. It's it is said that God created in His own image. Yeah, I agree with that. So does this mean all creation is gone because Davoth is dead? And how can the creator be corrupted? Those are also very good questions. Like very good questions, by the way. I don't know how the creator himself could be corrupted. But uh, yeah, that is a good question. Alright, this is why I don't think that the Slayer is dead, or if he is dead, he can be resurrected later. Here's why. L listen to this. Whispered into existence in the first moment, Erdak bloomed around the Father. The Luminarium is the first place of all places. It is the holiest of all grounds. 
No living being can draw blood in the Luminarium. Were they to do so, they would lose all access to the powers of resurrection. Blood has never been spilled on its pure and holy floors, no matter what faction walks between the doors, as the Luminarium is the last vestige of the Father's peace in all the corrupted realms. Under its cornerstones, the quantum engines of creation stir. The vast interdimensional structures spin in and out of existence, and they give rise to the energy needed to split essence from physical form or to restore it. Here in the Luminarium, gods are reborn. Very important that we see this. This is your answer here, by the way. Because the Doom Slayer went into the Divinity Machine, he is now... One would argue that he is pretty much a god now. Or one of the lesser gods, or one of the gods. That is why Davoth told the Slayer that, you know, he cannot fight in the Luminarium. He can you know, you can't, um... Blood cannot be spilled on its holy floors. This is the reason why. So if in whatever instance the Doomslayer may be dead, they can take his body into the into the Luminarium and they can resurrect him. The resurrection is still a thing. Davoth could be resurrected, yes. Uh, but then again, his life sphere is dead, but I guess it, it could be resurrected, yes. There is a possibility that he can be resurrected, yes. Yeah, I mean, Davoth could be, you know, Davoth could be a placeholder. There's a lot of ways they can spin this. You know, because in the Codex Entry, in the new DLC, it says that Hell is like the one realm that is connected to every other realm. Every other dimension, I should say. And it's pretty much the oldest, oldest dimension or realm in existence. So, yeah. Anvil, I'm gonna go for dinner. It was really good and informative stream. Alright, take it easy, Nima. Uh, I appreciate you coming to the stream, man. Have a good one. And I hope to see you again sometime in the future. Slayer did share a part of Davoth's essence, so I guess you're right. The Slayer is technically Davoth now, and he sh And so he sh doesn't die with him. Yeah, pr pretty much. Pretty much. But what if the Slayer has a life sphere? Yeah, that's what I mean. The Slayer could could have a life sphere somewhere, or his life sphere could be created. Anyways, I'm out to sleep. Have fun. All right. Have a good one, uh, Mikhail. Thank you for joining, man. Have a good one. Hope to see you soon uh, in future streams. Yeah, in theory, because of the Luminarium, Doom is eternal, pretty much. Yeah, they sealed him away because you know he's not a threat. Yeah, agreed. See ya, Gumball. Have a good one, man. See ya, Hades. Yeah, Jackad is the first realm. That is correct. It's the first realm. You know, before it said that the make the Luminarium or whatever was the first. No, the um, Jackad was the first. This was your biggest stream yet, I think. Yeah, one hundred percent. I don't even know what like how many viewers I had at some point, like two hundred plus, I think. This is undoubtedly the best FPS I've ever seen, and people think the story is bad. The story is good, it's just, in a way, not really coherent. There's still a lot of inconsistencies, a lot of questions that have yet to be answered and all that stuff, so... Um, but overall, you know, it's good. It's great. Fantastic. What will they do with Samuel Hayden? I don't know, but he is definitely alive. So is the father. So Doom 3 Hell is the same Eternal's Hell. Yeah, you can pretty much surmise that yes, Doom 3 Hell is the same. So 
that means the Seraphim will find some way to resurrect the father. Yeah, that can actually... Yeah, possibly. Alright, uh, Dell10k. Have a good one, man. Thanks for coming. And uh, yeah, hope to see you again in future streams. You had over 300 viewers at the very end. Holy shit, man. God damn. And then the Sentinel was Seek the Slayer. Yeah. He didn't become a demon, per se. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. I guess you could say he became a demon, yeah. Honestly, like, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. It could very be, it could possibly... There is a possibility that Doom 3's universe potentially happens after... Uh, Doom 3's universe potentially happens after, um... Uh, this franchise, this Doom Eternal. Because Doom 3's story is about, you know, an ancient race that were absorbed into a relic. And it has, you know, a, uh, a stone detailing, sorry, a, like a, uh, a tablet that talks about the demons and all that stuff. Then there was a tablet that talked about this one humanoid figure that was just fighting against hell by himself. And then in one of the caverns, there's this massive uh, coffin, this huge coffin in the uh, in the cavern. And yeah, we could probably guess that Doom 3 probably happens after. You know, Dr. Betruger and his uh, cultist people managed to find a way to use technology to create a portal to hell. Because, you know, currently... The portal to hell more or less is closed, I guess. Well, it's not really closed. Uh, it's not really closed, it's just that demons are stuck inside. So the same way that uh, the, the Seraphim or Samuel Hayden uh, managed to sort of, in a way, open a portal to hell with the help of, obviously, the demons on the other side, you know, indirectly. The same way Dr. Betruger uh, would have been able to open a, a direct uh, gateway to hell. I think what happens is, because most of the people on Earth are dead, right? Like, pretty much most of human humanity is pretty much gone, most of it anyway. One explanation is, you know how people say Doom 2016 happened in the year 2145? Doom 3 also happened in the year 2145. The, I guess my theory is that now that the humans will start rebuilding, they're going to start a new calendar starting from year one. And that way sort of humanity sort of restarts. And then by the time this new human humanity uh, gets to 2145, then we have the events of Doom 3. Potentially. Uh, I'm just reading the chat. Because there are canonically different numerous dimensions. Uh, yes, there are numerous dimensions. But there's a difference between a dimension and a universe. There are very different things. Is Doom 3 an alternate universe or a different dimension? I think it might be a different... I think it might be the same dimension, but... You know... Thousands of years after the events of this game. Samuel Hayden's sphere was destroyed by Doomslayer and that meant he transformed into a demon. Yeah, but yeah, potentially. They would have to make a Doom 3 remake to make everything consistent with it. Yes. Is this why the Marauders call the Slayer a usurper and a false idol? Because if the Slayer's mark is actually the mark of the creator, then the Slayer is wearing this mark without actually being him. No, so the Marauders, when they call him a usurper and a false idol, that is referring to him, the Slayer, being a king of Arjun Dinur. He, at one point, he was the king. And since there were people that did not like the Slayer, they were, they were not loyal to him at all. That's why they say, uh, that's why he says you're a usurper. Because, you know, the original Night Sentinels or the original people of Argenta, 
they their religion was based off of the wraiths. Then when the makers came along, they basically infiltrated the entire culture, changed the entire culture and their religion. And then when the civil war happened, people that were followers of the old ways split from the people that were followers of the new ways. So, um, all right, I'm gonna head out. I enjoyed the stream. Also, you just gained another sub in the form of my friend because he was watching the stream and most likely subbing. All right, cool, Declan. Thank you for coming, man. I really appreciate you being part of the stream and being active in chat. Um, hope to see you sometime in the future again, man. Um, if Samuel Hayden has to return to be himself, he has to be decorrupted from demonic form and be back to serve him. How many missions did the DLC add? Exactly. Like four missions. For what reason Samuel Hayden needed the demonic crucible? And in Eternal, we see that he is killed... Halved in pieces. Who attacked him? It was more than likely the uh, the denizens of hell uh, that attacked him. Because our complex was just filled with demons, man. Filled. I think Hugo has said that Doom 3 hell is the same as Doom 2016, so there's a definite connection. Hugo did confirm that he, uh, Doom 3 is canon. So, yes. The father may be the dark priest from the 2016 prophecy, maybe, and maybe created the demonic crucible. Potentially. But it doesn't make sense why it would be the demonic crucible. It should be like the maker crucible, you know? The only thing saying no to that is the primitive technology in Doom 3. Yeah. Potentially, yeah, yeah. Do you think there should be Tag 3 or should just be the next game directly? I think they should just be in the next game. They should let this lot or this story just marinate in people's minds sort of like a cliffhanger because that's exactly what this is a cliffhanger uh, so i would like for this to sort of remain as it is let it you know fester in people's minds and yeah i uh, see your mission objective states that you're going to destroy the sphere not retrieve it that is not, sir, what Dr. Hayden, the, uh, the Seraphim, has requested of us, uh, you. Spoiler free or no spoilers? Uh, what do you mean, Karan? It's spoilers now, because we finished the, the DLC. Anvil, you had the chance to ask Hugo anything, right? Uh, no, nothing yet. Nothing concrete. I'm hoping to, uh... I am hoping to have him on the stream in a voice chat and then just ask him a few questions about the lore, about the game and all that stuff. Yeah, hopefully one day. Sam took the crucible to synthesize a strain of Arjun energy. The demons killed Samuel Hayden. Correct. J. 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 Jonah Jameson. That is correct. Hayden needed the crucible as a conductor to make synthetic argent due to all of the remaining Arjun energy left in existence was inside the crucible. That is correct, comment guy. 100% correct. It's called a demonic crucible because it was made to seal the demons, so he used it to seal the Dark Lord. I don't know, man. I'm not sure. Anvil is eternal. Bye, guys. I like that. I like that very much. Uh, see you later, uh, Christmas. Have a good one, man. Doom 3 is a parallel universe? I don't know, man. He said that it is... Uh, he said that Doom 3 is canon, so it cannot be a parallel universe. Because as, as it stands right now, there is no such thing as a multiverse. There is a thing as multiple dimensions and realms, but there is no such thing as multiverse. That is a completely different thing. So since Hugo said that Doom 3 is canon, that means Doom 3 uh, happens in this universe. It's canon in general, yeah. Oh man, I don't have the hammer anymore.
Wait, what the hell difficulty is this? Oh, come on, man. What is this? Anvil is here, so do the Slayer, yet to be seen in with a new game. Who else? Who else we need? Sorry, what do you mean, uh, Piran? Anvil is here, so do the Slayer. So do the Slayer, yet to be seen with a new game. Who else we need? I'm um, sorry, I don't understand what you mean. Uh... Uh, yes, so if, when when I if I ever do get the chance to talk to Hugo Martin or Marty Stratton, I'm gonna ask him how Doom Three fits in, even if it's like some sort of you know, uh, like I don't know, maybe it's like a small answer, but yeah, I'm gonna ask him for sure, hundred percent. We don't know that, but we know is a demonic crucible is a key to freeing the wraiths. Yes, o but only the wraiths. That were present in Cattinger's Sanctum. What if Sentinel Army got absorbed into the cube we see in Doom 3 after Doom Slayer got imprisoned? That's basically my theory. That the in Doom 3 it talks about an ancient race of people that used to live on Mars that got absorbed into um, a relic. Okay? And um we know for a fact from Doom Eternal, the base campaign, that there used to be a city where that the Sentinels used to uh, inhibit called the Lost City of Hebeth on Mars. And that city existed even before the Slayer arrived on Arjun Dinur. So yes, those, those, that clan that used to live on Mars, all those billions, however many, however many years ago, they are potentially that ancient race that got absorbed into the cube or the relic or whatever it is. The fight with the Dark Lord is fun, but I felt it was stretched. Yeah, I kind of agree with you, man. kind of agree with you there. Was beating Tag on Ultra Nightmare hard for you? What was the hardest part? Oh, man. As you saw, I used to be a Hurt Me Plenty player. And uh, I grinded so hard, man. Uh, I think the hardest part for me was UAC Atlantica, for the most of it, uh, because of how how tight the arenas are. The Blood Swamps was pretty difficult with the Possessed Baron. I died there a lot, and yeah, man, the uh, the the uh, the Holt was just another level. Yeah, the yeah, I had a very hard time, very hard time. It took me an hour to beat him. Holy shit. I will see this entire stream from the start. Nice, dude. Nice. Hope you enjoy the stream when you see it. See you later, guys. Thanks, Anvil, for the amazing lore explanation. I enjoyed it. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much, Nora. I appreciate it, man. Thanks for coming by. And thanks for being active in the stream. And I hope to see you again uh, in future streams. When new Doom game arrives, we will figure it out, don't we? We have you as... We have you as you will cover its lore. Yeah, pretty much. You're right, Piran. Uh, uh, okay, now I understand what you mean. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much, yeah. Is the DLC worth the money? I'm very biased on this. It is very much worth the money. It is worth every freaking... I don't know... Soul... Or whatever currency you want to use. I missed your Doom 64 stream. Yeah, I mean, I only played a little bit of it. Or a little bit. Maybe an hour. But, um... Yeah. Um... I'll definitely be playing it again. I'll, sorry, I'll definitely continue my Doom 64 stream. I have an Ultra Nightmare save file, but I just finished UAC. I'm practicing on a different Nightmare level save file. That is the best way to practice, uh, J. Jonah Jameson. That is that is that is the exact way that I practiced. 
Imagine we can find Davos' sword and Valen's, ham Valen's hammer in the next game and use them. That would be pretty cool. That would be very cool. That actually raises a lot of questions because Davos' weapon was also a crucible. His shield was also a crucible. Uh, sorry, made from the same magic. And we know that wraith magic is what the crucible and the hammer is made out of. That possibly means that it was Davos that created the wraiths. But the question is, why? Why did he create the wraiths? That is the question. Can we use the hammer in DLC 1 and base campaign? Unfortunately, no, we can't. I just tried. I'll try again to get like a glory kill, but no, we can't. Yeah, see, n no, uh, no hammer, unfortunately. Yeah, Doom 2016's Ultra Nightmare is pretty difficult because the, uh, the imps just, uh, you know, they, uh, they have aimbot. It's insane. And th their fireball does, like, a lot of damage. Uh, I hope a mod for that comes. I really enjoy making plays with it. Yeah, I hope so. I think I think there might be a mod that brings it back. I hope so. I think a 100% marathon of Doom Eternal and the two DLCs will be awesome. It's funny that you mentioned that, James. J. Jonah Jameson. Uh, because my plan, either next week or sometime, I'm not sure yet. I have to schedule it. I'll be doing a Doom marathon. Uh, starting from Doom 1, 2... 3 and the Doom 3 DLCs, Doom 64, Doom 2016, and then Doom Eternal and its DLCs. And so my goal would be to play like one game per session. And that'll be like the Doom Marathon. No, no, I'm not going to do it all in one go. No way, man. I cannot do a 24-hour stream. Like, I'm not that young as I used to be, so yeah, I can't do that shit. But I'll be doing like one game per session. For sure. I made an Anvil Clan on Steam for you guys. <laughs> yeah, you need yeah, I need to sleep as well, yeah. It's like uh, 4.45 a.m. here. So, yeah. If you DM on Discord before it happens, I will try to come and moderate as much as possible. Sounds good, man. I will, like... When I start the marathon, I'm going to create a schedule or, like, a... Um, like, a scheduled stream. Uh... Maybe like 24 hours beforehand. That's what I'll be doing. 24 hours beforehand. I will probably start around the same time as the release of the DLC. So if, er so if everyone can make it in that time, that'd be good. So the DLC was released, I don't know, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, EST, I think. But yeah, that's probably when I'll start my stream.
Yeah, it's the 19th of March here as well, man. 3.13 a.m. Yeah, whereabouts are you? In Australia? How do we get better at quick swapping weapons? Oh man, that's uh... So because I'm using... So you guys are probably thinking like, hey, this guy is using default keybinds. How does he do it? I'm currently using a 12 button mouse. Which has like 12 buttons where my thumb is. So... Uh, so let me... So one way to quick switch is if you hold down the attack button or the shoot button like this. And then if you press the key bind to uh, press the key bind of the weapon you want to switch to. So let's say I want to switch to the combat shotgun. You press and hold the shoot button and then you press the key bind for the combat shotgun like this. And then you go back and forth. Yeah, just, you know, keep your, uh, keep your shoot button pressed and then press the key bind for whichever button, uh, weapon you want to use. That's the key that opens. The I didn't know a 12 button mouse was even a thing. Yeah. If you've played uh, MMOs, MMORPGs, this 12 button mouse is pretty much required more or less to the father's tomb which according to our data should be on the crest of a mountain just beyond this altar that is the origin of the father's realm You love using the full auto? Well, let's give it a shot. Well, yeah, you weren't kidding. It does work pretty well. Thanks for the info. Been struggling with the keybinds and quick switching. Yeah, it's all good, man. It's all good. Just remember, just remember what I told you. Hold down the shoot button and press the key for whichever weapon you want to switch to. Uh, I just realized only the Slayer knows that Davoth is the real father. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I searched and searched the internet, but have found no soundtrack in my quest. I have left multiple times, but every time where it has brought me back to you. <laughs> back to you that's pretty good after seeing under the mayo's video my eyes have been opened yeah i mean i still use uh sticky bombs it just works well for my gameplay my play style i love sticky bombs it works so well with me but yeah i do use uh i did use um what do you call it lock on sorry not lock on uh
semi uh combat shotgun auto mod whatever i can't even speak right now Yeah, now I'm gonna have to, uh, my, the next video I'm gonna work on is, uh, a review of this DLC. That's gonna be the next video that I'll work on. What is the worst gun and attachment in Doom Eternal or Doom 2016 in your opinion? I would say the mobile turret is really the uh, most lackluster in Doom Eternal, by far. Hey, look, I'm level 5 now. The chain gunner, gunner was a big disappointment. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad the chain gunners are not... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, hit scan. I would be very annoyed if they were hit scan. How about some multiplayer? Uh, bro, I'm in Australia and it's like 5 a.m. I'm not going to find anyone playing at this time. And it's... And battle mode is just way too laggy on Australian servers. Way too laggy. I like the new days effect. It's really neat. I agree. Looks awesome. Command, uh, they're no longer hit scan, so glad, be glad about it. Yeah, agreed. Imagine if they were hit scan and you were playing on Ultron Hypemare. Yeah, man, that would be, uh, that would not be fun. That would just be like straight up uh, artificial uh, difficulty. Because, you know, I don't understand some people that say they wanted hit scan because you have people that complain about, you know, uh, in multiplayer games, people using aimbot, you know, to cheat their way to higher ranks. But then somehow it's okay when an AI uses aimbot. Like why? It's it's, it's such a weird double standard. Wait a minute, what? Shouldn't there be a uh, possessed baron here? Oh, you gotta be kidding me, right? Uh. 
Wow, they removed the Possessed Baron from here, man. That's crazy, dude. What game are you going to stream next? I am going to potentially be streaming my progress with Nightmare and then obviously with Ultra Nightmare. Um, that's what I'll be doing. But for the next game that I'll be streaming, more than likely um, uh, Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I'll be trying to do like a full 100%, like almost 100% completion of the game, of the of the trilogy, of the Mass Effect uh, Remastered Trilogy. That's probably what I'll be uh, streaming. See, that's what I thought as well, J. Jonah Jameson. I thought that I had the randomizer mod, but apparently they patched it. What a surprise. Um, yeah, I don't know what to think, but whatever. Imagine them adding more Marauder variants. That'd be amazing. That was the one place I liked facing the Possessed Baron. I agree with you, Jameson. I agree with you. Have you played Dead Space 1? A little bit. A little bit. Uh... I have like so many games that I have to play. So many games, dude. I'm not even joking you. I have never played the Witcher games. I have not played freaking like... Uh, there's a few other games that I've not played. Uh, hold on, let me find the link. Just give me one minute. I made a poll on my Twitch page. A poll on my Twitch page. Let me find it for you guys. Also, if you guys like like the stream and you like the content that I do, then make sure to follow me on Twitch as well because I would like to um, slowly move my live streaming over to Twitch because apparently you get a lot more growth on uh, on Twitch. Just letting you know. Retro games, that's, that's what I love, man. I love retro games, man. Handle hasn't played Doom 1 and Doom 2? Correct. That's what I meant when I was talking about the uh, Doom Marathon. So the Doom Marathon is what I'll be playing, uh, streaming, uh, the uh, Nightmare and Ultra Nightmare of this DLC, and I will also be streaming Mass Effect Legendary Edition when it comes out in like three months. Sorry for the spam, but make sure you follow me on Twitch as well, alright? Because I do want to switch over to Twitch uh, for live streaming anyway. And I want to keep my videos uh, on this channel. Uh, because uh, as far as I've heard, uh, Twitch is very good for uh, live streaming and growth for live streaming. But also uh, for the people that, I, I guess if, they, if you care about it, I have a poll on my Twitch page. So if you go to my Twitch uh, link that I've sent you, and you go in the uh, About section, and if you scroll down, you will find a poll which says, Which game should I stream in the future? And it has like Doom Marathon, Batman Arkham series, Mass Effect Legendary, Halo Master Chief series, Prince of Persia, Darksiders, Bioshock, Half-Life, The Witcher, all of that. So make sure you, you know, click on the uh, poll on whichever um, game you want to see. And Twitch can easily screw you over as well, but so can YouTube. Yeah, pretty much, man. Pretty much. Twitch is a simp, YouTube is a copyright minefield. I agree with you, uh, comment guy, I fully agree with you, man. But the thing is though, based on my experience and from what I've spoken with other people, 
Um, people that usually go to, uh, people that go to, um, uh, Twitch, they are there to watch a live stream. When people go to YouTube, they mostly want to see a video, like a well-edited video. Uh, so that's why if you're, if you live stream on Twitch, you have a better growth chance, uh, for your live streams. Because when people go to Twitch, they want to see a live stream. Also, uh, thank you to all the people that are following me on Twitch right now. We're at uh, 34 followers. So if I get up to 50 followers, then I could apply for, I think, uh, affiliate or something. And then I can get, uh, I could create uh, emotes for the channel. So like, you know, Anvil, Anvil, uh, Anvil Time, Anvil Smash, all that, all that really fun that we had in this live stream. So much fun man like this live stream was genuinely so much fun i'm actually gonna go back and watch it again uh in my free time just seeing the spam of like anvil smash anvil time was so good man so good Uh, yes, don't forget the are you going tired sl Honestly someone like I don't know make like a list of uh, anvil uh, and forge Emotes like for example the are you going growing tired slayer? That's a I love that one. It's all good Also again, that's the uh, that's the account. Sorry, that's my twitch page So yeah, man, let's get to let's get to 50 followers on twitch Uh, you're always making good content. Thank you very much, man. I, I, I try my best. I do. Like, my goal, my main goal when it comes to uh, making content is I want to make content that I can sit down and watch myself. A lot of people that, you know, create, uh, I guess, clickbaity videos, they make videos so that other people watch those videos, not... You know, they don't make it to their own standard. That's the problem. But yes, I just want to point out, uh, first of all, thank you. Thank you to every single person in chat, whether you were here or whether you're you're gone by now or whatever. Uh, just thank you very much for, uh, you know, coming to my stream and being active in the chat throughout the entire live stream. I really, really appreciate that. Honestly, I do. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you very much for really being like a part of this sort of like this sort of funny thing that we made with the whole Anvil time, Anvil smash thing. It was so much fun. Like it's a lighthearted but fun thing, you know? It was great. Love seeing that sort of interaction. But uh, also I wanted to say that in the um, in within the Doom community now, Whenever someone says, you know, oh, you know, let's use the hammer. From now on till the end of time, that's going to be called Anvil Smash. Uh, if you want to tell someone to use a, use the hammer, you should tell them it's Anvil time. Like, I want this emote to be like a very core mechanic or core part of the Doom community. I want people to refer to this as Anvil Smash or Anvil Time.
because, you know, all of you guys are part of the forge. Uh, can I make some emotes for you? Uh, sure, I mean, you can try, I, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure, like, how to make emotes, so... I mean, you, you can show me, like, one or two and, you know, we'll go from there. Is anvil moment acceptable? Yes, it is. If I do something that is very typical of what I would do, that is an anvil moment. So yes. We need an anvil discord. Okay guys, I do have a discord server of my own, but right now it is currently set to private because I have a few IRL people there, not that many. And I have to set the uh, moderators and um, the roles and everything like that. Once I set, once I set up this the discord i will then uh, either make a video about it like a short 30 second video or you know i'll post up on my social media or whatever all or you know i'll have it like linked in the uh, live stream chat every like 10 minutes or something you know yeah the, the the discord server is under construction yes it's anvil hammer time for me that's fine with me man it's perfectly fine with me i didn't find the poll where is it? Oh, it's, um, if you go to the Twitch page, my Twitch channel, then click on about. Then if you scroll down, you'll see the poll there. Sad anvil time. <laughs> Happy anvil time. Yeah, that's, that's fine with me, man. Let me just show uh, people what I mean. Just give me one moment, guys. Okay, let me just put up, uh... Okay, so let's... Let me just switch to the thing. Second screen. Okay, so here we are. Uh, so if you're on this page, then you go about. And then you scroll down, and then you'll see this pole right here. Right here. So I've got a few games, you know, listed here. So, completely up to you. But yeah, I will be doing a Doom Marathon, I will be doing Mass Effect Legendary Edition, and I will be doing the Ultra Nightmare and Nightmare attempts of the DLC. So, that is 100% gonna happen. I hate babies. Still an anvil moment. Don't ask when it happened. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when the Discord server goes up, could you link it in your descriptions? Yes. Yes, I will. Uh, thank you for reminding me. I will 100% do that. So thanks for reminding me. Whoop. Yeah, I'm still practicing my PB rocket because I bought a new mouse and the mouse is much different than what I used to have. I'm trying to get used to the controls again. Oh, cool. Um, the latest version of Eternal Mod Injector is available for download in the official Dome Modding Discord. Hey, thank you very much, Bean. Thank you for letting me know about that, man. I can't wait to uh, <laughs> uh, record the entire game again, like play through the game again, record it uh, with my uh, with my mod.
May he serve the makers in all their glory. Scans in Yeah, this music is the uh, is the map or main menu music, and sometimes it bugs out where it continuously uh, repeats, and that's what's happening right now. It's just on repeat. Thank you to all the people that are subscribing right now. I really appreciate it. Wow. Look at it go. Oh my god, look at that go. Um, Alright, take it easy, uh, Piran. I appreciate you coming along to the stream, man. And hopefully I'll see you in the future streams. Doom guy, professional multitasker. <laughs> Alright, watch this guys, watch this. That was too easy. Who gave a shout out? I don't know. I think uh, when it comes to YouTube subscriptions, it takes a few hours for it to register when someone has subscribed. was an honor for me as well man i'm glad to be in a position where i can stream and you know stream to so many people and you know really make a build a, a very good and healthy community hopefully a mature community but yeah i you know it, it, it is an honor to be in this position i do appreciate it yeah the dlc is just next level I, i'm gonna keep playing this dlc for a long time and it's not because of the hammer, that's probably like 99% of it, you know, but you know. Do you have a Twitch community? I don't know what you mean by that. I have a Twitch channel, which is where I want to start streaming, but um, I'm not sure what you mean by community. You got a Steam community? Uh, not really, no. Uh, how long are you planning on streaming? Uh, once I finish this Blood Swamps and we see the uh, cinematic, I'll probably call it there. It's like 5 a.m. and I think I should take a rest, you know? You are still live? Yeah, I'm still live. Um, I'm slowly... I, I'm, once I finish Blood Swamps, then I'll take... You know, then I'll go to sleep. I don't really use uh, Steam groups or Steam group chat, man. That's what the whole point of a uh, Discord is, you know? 
But once I get my Discord server up and running, we're gonna have a lot of fun, man. Nice, dude. Nice. Yeah, let me just uh, finish up Blood Swamp so because I, I want to have a look at the uh, the cinematic again, the last cinematic. Uh, I'm just gonna spam the BFG. I don't even care anymore. I just want to get to the end. Alright, take it easy, Kello. Have a good one, man. Thanks for coming by, and thanks for moderating the chat. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, tag two with cheats on will be a lot of fun. Just to go around and just, you know, just... Just hammer every- well, sorry. And we'll smash everything. That'll be just so much fun, man. Actually, I wonder if the hammer- if the infinite cheat code works for the ha for the hammer. I'm curious now. Uh, hey, welcome back, Raven. Oh man, you missed so much. So much. Where did the crucible go? There is no crucible in uh, tag part one. There is no crucible in the first DLC. Have you ever had chocolate and mint cookies? They hit different. Not really, man. Not really, no. Many serve the makers.
Yeah, the Unma Unmaker doesn't work that well in this fight. All right, let's have a look at this cinematic. My favorite line from Doom 2016 is when Samuel says, I am not the villain in this story. I do what I do because there is no choice. Nvidia 2070 Super. Sphere. He'll take physical form if you do this. Could you record the credits so I can hear the badass song? Um, yeah, I might do it. When I do my second playthrough of the DLC and when I record all the cutscenes and all the in-game dialogue, I'll post that up on uh, YouTube as like a, you know, Doom Eternal game movie or something like that, you know? Where people that only care about the story can just watch that video and yeah. And then I'll record the entire uh, credits with no commentary, none of that shit. So you can really just enjoy the music um, of the credits. But yeah. Anyways, um, I think I'm going to call it here. So thank you again to everyone that was interacting with chat. All of the 88 people or 90 people that are watching the stream, thank you very much. What are all the little spheres around the father and Davos life orbs? Those are like the, uh, the, the lesser gods that the father created to uh, keep Davos contained, but you know, that wasn't uh, how it is.
The night was very epic. Very, very epic. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate the DLC to? A freaking 10. Easily a 10. This DLC, you know, the, the combat, the uh, the visuals, the balancing of all the weapons and everything, just the combat loop, like the combat mechanics of this DLC is literally better than anything that has come before. Literally. They made the combat in this DLC a freaking masterpiece. And I'll be making a video like on my review on the DLC, so uh, stay tuned for that. So again, uh, thank you very much for coming by and just watching the stream or just interacting and really being a part of this awesome community that we're creating now. Um, yeah, man, thank you very much. And I hope to see all of you or most of you in any of my future streams, either on YouTube or Twitch. So take care, everyone. Have a good one. And I will see all of you in hell.